a happy and uplifting story, you say. No, nah. no, nah. nah, I know, I know when you fuckers are lying to me. No, oh, man, no, 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 Alrighty, y'all. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Honkai Star Rail 2.0 Panacone Trailblaze Mission let's, live stream. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking How's go. How's everybody doing? I should hope you're all very excited for this totally happy, wonderful quest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm really scared, guys. I am nah, really uh -uh. scared. Like, uh, oh, my God. I, I put in our Discord earlier, our public Discord. If you're not a part of the Discord, by the way, you should join the Discord. Um, uh, it's but in the I, description. Yeah, it's in the description below. But yeah, I put in the description that I'm genuinely concerned for the stream tonight because I'm really scared. You I know. like I said, I have not seen any spoilers for this quest. No. However, I have seen people talking about it, the aftermath. There were people that were saying that we should check up on our loved ones afterward. I saw a streamer say that they're taking a day off. I saw people so, saying that they love Firefly. I'm really afraid, you guys. I am I'm really scared. Worried. Guys. I have no idea what's gonna happen. This, we are very oh, excited. If you guys watched our reaction to the special program trailer, you'll see just how excited we were. Yes. Um also, my if you were not here for to oh sorry, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. You're good. You, go you can go first. No, no, no. Oh you're my fine. what was that? I have uh, no idea. It was an audio glitch, I guess. Uh whatever. I got the track. Go first really? and then I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to say hello to everybody by name. If you guys we're not here for the stream yesterday. We got Black Spawn on stream. So, uh, yeah. Yay. So what were you going to say for your expectations? I'm so sorry. My expectations are I would like to see uh, my little blonde twink, Aventurine. I would like to see him and Dr. Ratio interact. I know you I do. I would like to see Black Swan in story. Is that going to happen? Uh, I have no idea. Discard your worthless destiny. Oh. Oh. Yes, mommy. Okay, mommy. Whatever you say, mommy. Okay, 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 sorry. Sorry, be normal, be normal. I have to be normal. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not normal. How are you guys doing? Sorry, we came in a little hot. We're both uh, sick right now. Yes, yes, and we're still a little sick. Yeah, so. But yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna push through as much as we can tonight. Yeah. Uh, we were told that this particular section of the quest clocks in at five hours so we'll see how much we can get through of it tonight with with minimal dialogue reading so, so uh we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along let me but let yeah. me shout everybody out spampton is here what's up buddy we haven't seen you in a hot minute in a stream hey, yo. Welcome, how you welcome. doing how you doing so tat is here also we missed you we missed you buddy damn spampton and Satat, we missed you both thank you for being here um, and thank you for the kitty cat in the box. Uh, Josh is here. What's up? What's up? He said, look at these dudes. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hell yeah. We are doing okay. We're, we're a little, doing all we're right. a little sick still, but yeah. we're going to push through tonight because Penacone, we Penacone, cannot, we, in Penacone, we, we trust. from yeah. the quest any longer. No, 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 um, we can't. But yeah. Sorry, I had tea. I'm oh, yes. still shouting everyone out. Uh, Plague is back. Hello there. This is going to be interesting. I'm sure it will be. Access Trinity. What is up? Can only stay an hour, unfortunately. Past midnight now, but we'll definitely watch the rest tomorrow. Heck yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank you for joining us. Happy we, to have you. We hope you enjoy uh, what you're able to see live and enjoy the VOD tomorrow. Another wholesome and uplifting story. I sure hope so, Play. I would really hope so. Archiver is here. Sandwich is here. All right, guys, I think that's everybody that I'm seeing currently. Well, that was Mina levels of simp. Oh, my God, dude, literally. Oh, my God. I Only mean, five uh, hours. Pff, low numbers. Yeah, I know. Right. Coming yeah, off the pish, Fontaine, posh. the Fontaine quest. That was seven and a half, man. We we've been through the trenches before. It's a long, fun ride. Oh, boy. I, I'm uh, worried. I'm really, I, really, really worried now. Yeah. Oh the story is oh. as lighthearted as Honkai Impact 3rd. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I'm so glad Himiko stay on the train. Himiko stay on the goddamn train. If you get, listen, I know what listen. happens to you in another universe. Listen. I watch the theory people. Listen, Himiko, listen, you stupid Our bitch. Our chat You pretty you. bitch. Stay on the train. You know you want to. 
You know you want to stay on the goddamn train with this fucker. So just stay there. It's fine. Stay Don't there. leave. Mother and father stay home. Oh my god. All right. Are we sandwich? Listen. Oh my god. They said I'm so upset with the storage thing because I can't play this and get the mommy right here and not get to know her. Oh, oh no. my god. Okay. No, you know I'm what? So you know sorry, what? Sam, I really want that for you. Y here's what you do you have to obtain the five star item uh, credit card and then you have to upgrade <laughs> your phone. That's what you need to do. Oh, um, if only, or if you're playing simple. on a laptop, because apparently I had no storage when I did the update as well. So, uh, haha. -ha. Um, hey, Serial here too i'm so sorry oh my god it's not even pride month and you forgot about them <gasps> wow Scotty, Nicole. Scotty, wow listen that wasn't very cash money listen, that wasn't very me and him of you nicole me and him are we have an understanding that wasn't very gay and of you. you on the other hand yes you you are not the favorite memory so what i excuse me <laughs> You stupid whore. Be normal. Be, Be normal. normal. No, okay, you okay, stupid okay, whore. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you for being in the music stream earlier. That was really fun. That was really fun. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you guys didn't uh, see that, we will be doing more live streams on Ursa Live. So make sure to catch us sometime. It's yeah. like, going to be a fun time. It was but a good time. Anyway. Oh my god. The what? producers. Oh my god. The producers literally clipped <laughs> a section oh, yeah. of our uh, performance today so that we could share it on socials to advertise future streams on Ursa. Yes. Guess what they clipped? The <laughs> only four minute section where I accidentally said fuck. They got yep. on film. They did do that. I find that extremely funny. It is funny. All right. Okay. Listen, everyone. Listen. We are going to be doing the Trailblaze mission, the brand new Trailblaze mission, the sound and the fury. Is what it's called, I guess. Or Long Day's Journey in Tonight. I, it's got two names. Mm, what, okay. is, what is that shit I keep seeing on Twitter where it's like, it's always nighttime in Penacone. It is always nighttime in Penacone. It's That's giving, the there is no war in Bossing Say. Uh, yeah, like I know I said that I saw some of the special program, but I have no idea no, what's going to happen in this quest. I legitimately don't. But listen, guys, listen, 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 listen. I need you guys to make sure I stay on track tonight because I'm going to want to check everything in Penacone, and I don't think I have the capacity to do that tonight. <laughs> I can't speak. I don't think I have the willpower to be able to explore everything tonight, so make sure that we stick to our lore keeper yeah. personalities tonight. Keep our fucking ADHD if you guys see in me, check. Guys, hold us accountable. <laughs> if you guys see me even once stray off the beaten path of the quest, please, for the love of God, start spamming a bunch of shit in chat about me, and I'll make sure to notice it and be like, oh, fuck, my ADHD kicked in, and I shouldn't be doing this right now. No relic farming! No boss farming! I will not be looking at all the treasure chests, and I will be looking at this chest instead! Yeah! Anyway! Boobies! Boobies! Let's Go. do the quest. Astral Express Family. Hey, oh, hey. they have a family crap chat. Yes, we've seen this 10 million times. I know, but I never get over it. It's I know, so it's cute. absolutely adorable. Uh, we're going to be cool about it. What's up? What it is, ho? What's, What's up? up? Every good boy needs, needs a little, little love. love. I forgot the lyrics. I, I forgot, me too. Are we ready to stop for the next stop? We sure are. The warp jump device is all calibrated, but as the express conductor, I have three things I wanted to stress before we depart. Okay, that's Tom, why Tom. I'm here for this little express meeting too. All right, then you know the rules. We'll meet in the parlor car. All right, family meeting. All right. Let's go family dinner table. Family, family dinner, dinner table. table. Are we ready, guys? It's time to do the quest. It's time to do the quest. Once we launch into it, we're done. Go. We're ready. Let's Ethereal go. Ethereal just yelled at you to do it. I am. <laughs> I have to. I have to be normal, guys. I have to. The next stop. Oh. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Everyone's here together. Oh, our little family. Oh, it's beginning. Pom pom's not here yet. Pom pom. <laughs> Pom-Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. And <laughs> they can always- keep me on the edge. Scotty. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, what were you going to say, Nicole? I was like, Pom-Pom is a good performer. They keep everyone waiting in anticipation. Uh -huh. Oh, hello, Pom-Pom. There they are. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up. So hmm. I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. What came up? What happened? Bloop, 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 bloop. So, what came up? It's rare for the conductor to make an announcement. Are we switching routes again? Uh, uh, what came up? What came up? Yeah, what was so important? 
I miss March so much sometimes. I do. I miss head, everybody. I'm so pats, happy to... I miss John Hall. Head pats. Head pats. Well, head pats. Our next destination is the planet of festivities. Panacone. Panacone. Ah, uh, yes. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. Ooh. Before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. Okay, boom, boom. Panacone is located in Astana. A star system oh. brimming with Memoria, which oh. has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. I know <laughs> these things, I think. The Memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Oh, Three interesting. Be a huge problem. Is it like Fragmentum? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Dizziness, hallucination, uh oh. Memories, or any other symptom. Uh. Oh, great. So that's what's going on in Pentacone. Mm. Hallucinations, huh? Dizziness, oh, hallucinations, distorted memories, other symptoms. Oh, well, well keep shit. that in mind, chat. Here we go. Pentacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. I knew it that. Also cool. Also, the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please that sounds that Italian, though. Invited as a guest. And that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Because family, I, with cousin Tony. Because we've been discussing with friends, and and the current running theory is that Pentacone is more like America because of all the symbolism and like the melting pot of cultures. Specifically, but, Vegas. Yeah, well, specifically, it feels like, and with the old timey cartoon, it feels like very Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting that there is a family because that would be like the families in yeah. Italy. When in Rome, as they say. Rome. See? Conductor, we definitely won't embarrass the nameless. When in Rome, when in Rome, Rome there's a song. What? I did not know this. Yeah. Being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. Yes. If what does it, Pom? Could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Okay. Oh. What nameless are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Just What's like going most on? of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. What? What? During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Oh, is this a rare happening? It's been this long when we said be able to find them. Who could be this important? Who no. could be this important? <laughs> Think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these names? I missed Miko's voice so much. Me too. So relaxing. Subsequent lives unfold, and what legacies do they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even I would. If the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's oh. guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. How long oh. ago was this? Did Walt and Himiko know them? Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. Mm. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Find Three. the hay in the needle stack. Find the hay in the needle stack. <laughs> I was going to just say Stella chimes in. Uh, three, March. Three, three needles three in needles. a haystack. And March is like, yeah, three. We'll what she said. The stars of fate. Considering the nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Yes, let's talk to everyone. Oh, the song! Oh, the song! Guys, I'm getting emotional already. Oh, this I'm is not a good so sign. so nostalgic now. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Stellaron. It's not like Stella is a walking Stellaron. Oh, yeah, not at all, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all, guys. Not at all. 
She's like, um, Stella's listening to this conversation. She's like, hey, I'm one of those. Huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyway. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's the... The real adventure is the 50-50s we lose along the way. That's so true, Satat. But you know what? New year, new <coughs> luck. We're going to manifest for everybody. Very true. Um... Wait a minute, I just realized, where is the, uh... It's, the music is muffled because Don Hung is, like, blasting <laughs> it in his room, like... We're in his room right now. All emo-ish. Yeah, I can see that. Let's yeah. speak with him. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the Express this time. Don Hung! I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Don Hung, why are you not coming? You're not coming, you should come with us. It's such a rare opportunity. No. I respect your decision. No, come no, with us! ask him! I appreciate the invitation, but... I don't like bustling places, and <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Pay no mind to matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. He does and sound better, though. He sounds cheered up. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. <laughs> Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Stella's like, oh, I, I can't take my baseball bat or all oh, of my weapons. Or the giant and, sword. And she like holds up like a stockpile of weapons. And Don Hung, no, I, where did you get all of those? Where, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? What did you do? And so like, you never know. You never know when you're going to need all never this. Never know. Where'd you get that? Internet. Internet. March, you've got your priorities in Travel order, my girl. Travel bottles. Oh, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. You know what, though? I feel that so hard every yeah. time we travel, even if I know, like, the bathroom is going to be nice or, you know, we're staying with friends and they have all the amenities. I still bring our own toiletries. Usually. Oh, yeah. Like, I just, also, you uh, never know if you're going to need them or not. I also pack like I'm going to shit myself every single day of the trip. And Correct. I always pack an extra pair of underwear for every day that we go. That's it's Scotty's. A, that's a genius idea. Isn't that's it, guys? Scotty's motto for life: pack like you're gonna shit yourself every single day. It's wise words to live by. Make sure to jot that one down. <laughs> yeah. That means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Take some food. Take your pom pom toy. Take me. Oh. Take me. No. You won't fit in the suitcase. Can you walk? <laughs> no. Maybe I should bring some novels or comic books. Oh, okay, yes. Then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. But these books are so heavy. Oh, I'll carry Marge. you. I mean, the books. <laughs> That's so sweet. So it's like, I want to I wanna go with you on a little date. And Marge is just as dumb. She's like, you're not going to fit in the suitcase. And so he's like, no, that's not that's what not, I meant. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I leave now. Also, everyone say hi to Bubbles. Bubbles, Bubbles, Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. Can bubbles, bubbles, bubbles come with us? I want Bubbles to come with us. Leave we need a pet. Before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Uh, optional, listen to the newest International Peace broadcast. Um, how do I do that? How, how, how do the, I do that? It's not the, the phonograph. What is it? How, how, how do I do that? How, how, guys, guys, can someone tell me how to do that? Maybe. Can someone? Can, there are drugs what? in the air. Penacone people are all high. That's it. Oh. What? Music? What? News? Welcome to the International oh. Peace Broadcast. Oh, I guess I figured it out. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Welcome to a new episode of International Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. Sweet. The IPC and the Xianzhou Alliance have renewed their trade agreements, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Epic. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Omega, Omega count, count how, how many, many sand there are. Yeah, no, yeah. Songstress Robin has received an invitation to 
perform at Pentaconi's Charmony Festival. Robin's a songstress? <gasps> Shut up, we have to cosplay them. We must. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Stella's just wait. playing video games while the news is on. <laughs> what, what happened? I missed that because Stella was playing video games. I, I saw something about the Garden of Recollection. That's where um, Black Swan's from. Oh, shit. agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. How long does this go on for, by the way, guys? At the signing of the agreement, friendly talks were held between Madame Yukong, Skyfaring Helmmaster of the La Fu, and a representative of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. How long does this go on for? I don't know. Issues, including the Just pay attention. Stellar security on the free market. The IPC also expressed their heartfelt concern for the law so he's bored. regarding the recent Me too, man. <laughs> Dude, don't we have to listen to this? It said it was optional. But what if it's important? I mean, we saw the thing about- Oh my god, stop talking about the IPC! ...is committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched force. I'm really concerned that this is not important. Okay. Emperor Rupert the First left. Oh my God! I'm turning it off. All right, Welt. How's it going? All packed and ready? Yes, Dad. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But uh -oh. hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Uh, Mr. W R Mr. Wang. I was gonna call it. Excuse me, Mr. Yang. <laughs> Mr. Yang, I want your Wang. What? I oh, what? Scotty. <laughs> Mr. Yang, you look relaxed. Yeah. Well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Is he rest staying on the train? Aside, I don't know. Pom -pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Oh, Pom Pom remembers the, the previous crew fondly, huh? Himiko. Himiko, let's go. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, really? Seven's buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Oh, <laughs> of course, I'm the mature adult type. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. We're not no, straight. No, not Alex <laughs> Jones is canon to turn the freaking frogs gay. Turn the freaking frogs gay. Do, Do you understand, understand that? Turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> uh, 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 crap. Regarding family's invitation. I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone, just not now. What? Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Hey, Mikko, if you need to tell us something, you better do it now before something bad happens. Haha. <laughs> Time. I should find a seat. Yes. Our seat. We're gonna do the jump. We're gonna do the jump. We're jumping. Hello, attention all passengers. Bobo's like, is this thing on? God damn it! <laughs> Is March gonna do the thing where she tries to stand again? Oh yeah, I wanna see it. The train is about to make the jump. Let's Five, go. Four, okay. Okay. Three, oh, it's different. Wait, what? 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 Oh my God, Black Swan! What? Oh my God, I saw her. Wait, what? Hallucinations that and, was and different. repressed memories and stuff. What? What is this? Where are we? We were sensitive what? to that energy that Pom Pom was talking about. What did we see? Did we see what into the future the or the past? Fuck? What if we've been to Pentaconi before we don't remember? I was gonna just say before something. Before we got the stellar run. Oh my god, it's Akron! Oh, mommy! Oh my mommy, god! Mommy! 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 Okay, mommy! I'm sorry. I was gonna say, no, 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 Nicole. I think it may be the past. I remember what 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 Pom Pom was saying about the past nameless. What if? What if Black Swan and Acheron might have been part of the Nameless before? Oh shit. But I could be wrong. Let's find out. Let's Come see. With me. She just said not another yes, one. Yes, mommy. Yes. I, I mean, say it nice. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, who are, who you? are you? What is this place? Where are we going? Who are you? What is the, wh what? What is this? I'm curious what this place is. Bombastic side eye. Questions have no meaning but I will answer you as best as I can. 
This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A uh, dreamscape. Oh dreamscape. shit, dreamscape. we heard that in the trailer. We okay. entered into the mindscape. It's the mindscape. Wait, but I thought that was just in Panacone, the dreamscape. What the hell? Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. Hmm. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Wait, I have another him. question for you. Why'd you say not another one then? Worry because not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with not but a faint lingering of loss. What? I don't know if that's true or not. Um, she said not another one because others have probably crossed into her dreamscape as well. I know mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. <clears throat> It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. The we? residents of Penacone? So, come with me. I'll take you home. I Damn, I please. Is it I want to be Penacone. I want to be taken home by her. And she also said come with me. Um gladly. Damn. <laughs> gladly. Ale uh Allegra Clark. Allegra yeah. Clark. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. Wait, no, come back, mommy. I mean, I mean person. Left, the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Okay. Is this your bed, though? Damn. It's pretty nice. Why does it look wait, like... Wait, it looks like the express... I was like, gonna say! What if she was a previous passenger? That's what I just said! I know, but... The nameless! Scotty, don't scream in my ear! I'm literally just processing. I know, but I literally told you! What if she was part of the past nameless? Because I saw Black Swan as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. The, oh, the door opened. I mean, I know she told us. Wait a minute. Let's all I, look at the door. Whale. 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 Whales. 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 Why? Wait a minute. I'm not what if there. we go? Turn back. Oh. Uh, but I, I wanted to. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I just, I'm, I, I wanted, I, want, I was curious. I just wanted to know what was there. I was also going to say, this kind of also looks a little bit like, uh, I haven't properly watched Black Swan's trailer, mm -hmm. but it kind of looks like where we were running around in. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. Huh. This is what they call me. Oh. You can call me whatever you want. Hey, I wrote oh. that lyric. Hey, that, hey reference. <laughs> hey, reference. <laughs> uh, oh. Open this Mommy? door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is what? awesome. This is such a different way of Whoa. starting the quest. What? This is no way. What, what are we looking at? What is this, this? way? I'm gonna go this way. She's gonna yell at us. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be normal. I just I wanted to look around. Can we go back? We can. Wait. Why? Whoa. What the hell is the dreamscape? After you. Wait. Why? Oh. Am I uh, supposed to walk up the wall? Oh my God! Please. Anti gravity. Tell dude. me we can walk on the wall, please. So this Tell me was we why. Can... We Holy were... shit! Oh, that's sick. Why not? So. Oh. She can hear the thoughts in my head? What? She can. Why not? <laughs> what? This is trippy as fuck and I love it! This is so cool. Suddenly the trailers are making a lot of sense. Oh my god, wait, that's Robin and Sunday. Wait, that's... Is that... Is that Adventurine and Ratio? Damn. Is that... Is that Adventurine and Ratio? Where? Wait a minute, wait, wait, hold on. Where? Hold on, is that Sam and Silver Wolf? We're what almost there. Can you still walk? I think so. Now I am become Trailblaze, the per the perambulator of walls. That one. You're funny. Oh. <gasps> if you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. God okay, my damn. knees got weak a little bit. My knees opened up. Don't say <laughs> Don't back. Look down. Or up, for that matter. What is this place? Why are we seeing? So we can look around. Can I'll follow you in just a second. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Oh, I will pay heed to them. I want to, Scotty, listen in right now. I know, there, are, there are three things I can listen to. I can listen to all three. I'll listen to them first. The festival stage belongs only to you. 
little sister. Yes, they're siblings. Let's go. They're oh, siblings. We should yeah. cosplay them. Sunday and Robin. I know their names for a fact. Hell oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. Sunday's really pretty. Amen to that. <gasps> I Go. just told you. I told Go! You. Shut up! I'm no. going! Click the button, bitch. <gasps> to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, <gasps> dear Gamberg. Nicole, don't get too excited. You barely know anything about Shut them! Oops. I'm, I'm just click. telling you. I'm gonna reality. hit you. Click. Three chips are enough. Oh my god, I love his voice. Oh my god! We've had oh it before, god. bitch! Scotty, can I react, please? <laughs> Shut I'm, up! I'm just pointing out the obvious to you! Shut up! Let me enjoy it. It's what is Wolfie. going on here? Do you intend to pull them off the stage? Huh? What? All we have to do is present the truth. That's Sam. And they will naturally reciprocate. Wait, what? So there's going to be a stage performance and the Celeron hunters are going to interfere, yes? What the fuck? We just heard their plan. Oh shit, Sparkle and <gasps> Black Swan! Let's go! Do you think you can just leave? Okay, I already Memo love her. Keeper. I already love Sparkle. Scotty, Memo Keeper. Memo Keeper. I, this is very interesting. Nicole, I think you just got excited about Ratio. Can I get excited about Sparkle for five seconds? Of course you can, but let me just tell you. Yes, I, lore. I'm connecting pieces here. I really am starting to believe that Genshin and Honkai are in the same universe. I saw someone saying and, that. And this uh, woman is a bridge. Black Swan, they said that she looks like the Blessing of the Welkin Moon uh, character. Yeah, I know. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. It's me. Uh, no, I pulled her first. I already said it's me. I claim dibs. Well, I already pulled her, so... Uh, yeah, but... Fine, I'll take Sparkle. Thank I you. I like her just as much. Sparkle sounds really cool, by the way. I like her already. Okay. Okay. Following other mommy. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, God. Uh... It's the haunted mansion, guys. It's kind of terrifying. Scotty. Are these walls actually closing? We're here. I don't know. The, I forgot the words. We're here. Wait. Where are we? In your bedroom. We're, we're, oh, okay. Ha ha. We'll open the door. The what? May you experience Misha. Hey, Misha. If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. I'm not straight, especially not for Akron. Yeah, no. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter. And I don't think we will. You came. Where, I mean, I haven't yet, though. I'm, I'm what? I, I'm sorry. Well, neither have I! But before you do... God, I love her design. I would make a request of you. Yes. What? What is it? What do you need? Music you is may think awesome. It's strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Hmm. Have we met somewhere before? Why yes. is that in red? W whoa. Oh, guys, I got chills. Oh, this is giving. You know oh. what this is giving? When the game broke during the Samsara and Samara. Oh, it is. Oh, I, I got chills. Perhaps we have. Probably not. I don't know what. Yeah, I, going Scotty, on. say perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. See. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Yeah. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. What? We knew her what before everything. We? What? What are we? Also, Akron, what are we? May I ask you a few more yeah. questions? Yes. Yeah. I tend to forget <gasps> things. Sparkles is VA is Yenface VA? I know that. I knew that. I to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted. Yes, I knew that. I know uh, uh, um, Lizzie, Lizzie right? Freeman voices. Oh, so uh, cool. I didn't but, know but, that. But, but Sparkle's Japanese voice actor is Ganyu's Japanese voice actor, oh. which is what I'm even more excited about. So, uh, hell yes. Sorry, let me reread this again. Ayato and Ayaka moment. Yeah, they really are, huh? Maybe the Galaxy Rangers are like the Power Rangers. Maybe, Satat, maybe. Hey yo, Pluppy is here. Welcome, welcome. Hey, yo, it welcome. is. It's Pentaconi time. Let's go. When you 
awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. What? what? Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. We incidents? talk in our sleep? How does she hear it? What, how much is she listening? Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Yes. What? I can't bear such a fear yeah. for me. If I, it means losing them, I would. I feel no fear. If it means that I will disappear, I will. No, I what? would say it, if it means losing them. If it means I will disappear, I would. Huh. But we've lost everybody before. If you fear losing these bonds, I would fear if it meant losing them. Yeah. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. Hmm. I would ask, would you wish to stay? It's like a afterlife. If I didn't have to pay any price, it depends on the price I'd have to... I would never want that, to live. I would never want to live in a dream. These two I would are really go, good. I would go though. with that one. I would go with that oh, one. That I seems like the theme, Scotty. I like that. Mm. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze. Soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask... Would you still embark on this journey? Oh yeah. shit. Man. I wouldn't I would abandon No. Wait. I would abandon it. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the food of dreams. Price is too dear. I'd abandon it. I'd blaze a trail without hesitation. Yeah. I wonder if I don't know is the right answer for all of these. Or I'm just curious. like the more accurate one. You have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said. The answer is inconsequential. It doesn't really matter. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I mean, I seem were to those... remember you from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Go with that one. Because that was her in those images. quick images, right? Yes, I saw her. I understand. This is How fascinating. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. It's canon that all of what the, the response. So wait, no, 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 this is mentally fucking me up. So wait, so hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting into like, so all of the, we're answers. getting into like metaphysical stuff here, but also we're getting into like the variables of there being several different timelines and things happening like at the same time, but in different timelines. So all of those answers were accurate. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucked. That's this that's why she said the answer doesn't matter. What that is going on? Question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. I'm sure we're gonna see her again. Will we meet again? You haven't told me how to leave this place. <laughs> Head tilt. <laughs> the golden dream is getting restless. Golden dream. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. Oh no. Uh -oh. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. 
Oh shit, like the cartoon. Please what the fuck? What In does all this mean? Monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. Red dialogue. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Oh? What? What Guys. You now is ponder its significance. Damn, this is stunning. And then... You can return to the world. <gasps> what? Why is she crying tears of blood? What is happening? We'll find our answers. What? What? Did she kill Stella in the dreamscape? What the fuck was that? What the hell just happened? We're crying. Oh, Stella. <sighs> what Guys. the hell was that? Yo. Oh, you know. I may have dreamed of an old friend. I dreamed of a Riddler spouting strange talk. I was slashed by someone with a blade. I've dreamed a tragic future. Yes, that one. Which one? Wh which one? tragic future one, because that'll alert everybody that something is wrong. Mm, sounds like you had a nightmare. Pom bomb. and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. Mm. While you were sleeping, the express arrived at Pentaconi. Yay! Imagine yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could watch. Cool. Today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. Train tied. You have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. All the hearts. Before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Oh. Is well, she's wearing her outfit. Her luggage. Oh, the fond, oh. Little, the fondness in her voice when she said that. Whoa! Shit! The clock. Guys, are we gonna see the weird guys, cartoon clock, guys? Fam, what is going on? I am concerned. Uh, I am Nexa, afraid. welcome to chat. It's good to see you. Welcome, welcome. 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 Uh, first time chatter. The red was probably just smeared makeup. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Red yeah. eyeliner, you know. Oh yeah, of course. I I know the feeling. <laughs> Let's go. We got another new <coughs> chatter. Uh, Spank me mobile gaming. Sick. Spank, uh, wait, what is the name? Spank me mobile. Nice gaming. Like mobile gaming Accurate. is spanking yeah. you. Yeah, uh, you know Acheron what? Akron yeah. is breaking the fourth wall. Uh, yeah, a lot. Oh, I uh, yeah, I know, literally, dude. I have no idea what that Yeah, it was is. just a dream. Don't worry about it. Cool. Oh, yeah, for sure, guys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're up. How's your prep going? The multiverse is already confirmed. Okay, okay, okay. Stuck around for you. Let's get going. Oh, she stuck around for us. I'm ready to go. The planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. Yay! Totally normal trip. Yippee! So is Walt coming with us too? Yeah. Sweet. Sounds like he is. Oh shit! Guys, what the hell? Go. Look at that! Oh my god! We oh so we weren't seeing a past version of the Express. Oh, this is what the class. hotel looks like. Th they're like, uh, yeah, hand sanitizer, gotta go. What's Tic Tacs, what gotta go. What's with the giant Pokeball on the left? Look at it. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. March? Uh, there ain't nobody going inside <laughs> me unless their names are Acheron. Thankfully, they didn't. <laughs> uh, the Stellaron is stable. Wow. Oh my god. Guys! They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. Holy this is impressive shit. as hell. Where are our rooms? Come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Mom and Dad! They're checking us in. <laughs> Guys. Oh, there's Misha. There he is. He's so cute. Head pats. If you need help checking in. Please head straight to the concierge. He's so sweet. It's the child from the dream. Too Wait, hard. can we say yes. that out loud? Uh. 
Oh. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here. <laughs> yeah. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. Uh, I have a lot of baggage. I, I do too, buddy. We're More than you put know. That on you, don't worry. Wait, what's? Oh no! Don't worry, March. Nothing's right about this. But what's right, not? What's not right right now? Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. I also Aww. like to imagine Stella walks up to this random guy, and he's just like, "Hi, hello, hello, welcome to the whole place." And she's just like, "You're the kid from the dream." And he's just like, "What, uh, what the fuck? What? Why? What are you talking about?" No That's bestie. No bestie. Nor. What the what what the hell was that? Random close up. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? We've just arrived and there's already drama. <laughs> drama, drama. <coughs> Let's go see. Somebody answer the damn phone. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. What? Check it again, bitch! But in the information I received from <laughs> Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. What do you mean, my clard? My clard is, is declined. <laughs> my clard is declined. <laughs> Run it again, bitch. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna go full Karen on ya. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. What? These are the only four names on the reservation list. Do we not exist? Uh oh. Uh, and yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. God damn it, Stella. Hung. He's like, that would be you. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Oh. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. Yes, mommy can vouch for me. I Thanks, mom. Even if that is so, I'm afraid. Can we just call the family and sort it out? Architects lands. We're gonna show our sword. No, don't do that. I kind of want to do that. Stella, that sounds really good. Stella, that sounds funny. I'm not doubting your status. Cut <laughs> it. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmin Fest. Oh my God. Pentagonies most important. Ah! Every era. Yeah. Family's invite. All guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. It's him. Oh it's my god. Boobs out and everything. Oh god damn. Oh my god. Oh, I love him. Oh. Look at this fucking all right, guy. Unfollow me right now. He's gonna be all I talk about for the next two fucking weeks. Two weeks? You think that's Months. how Oh my god, I was gonna say, you think that's how long you're gonna be talking about this oh, fucking guy? Scotty, you know how I feel about little blonde twinks in my video games and anime, okay? Yeah, I know how you feel about the blonde twinks. Yeah. Hotel security is on high alert with zero <gasps> room for error. Oh my god. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. Does he have a tattoo on his neck? From the Astral Express. Please do not make it harder for her. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Are you saying that I'm not allowed here still? <laughs> we gotta take it up with the family. Oh, I remember him being a dick. Do you remember how much of a dick he was? No. He was the one putting pressure on Topaz. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> so look, they share it, they sign <laughs> it. Check it seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? Sandwich, because there's not a single straight thing about him. No. No. A twink. A twink. Oh my god. Hi, babe. Adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Oh yeah. A non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. <laughs> oh, you're a sub, all right. He's cordially invited by the watchmaker. What's the who, say, what, who, who is, is the, the watchmaker? watchmaker? <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh. Uh, how about this? How about you suck me? What? 
Scotty? Uh, no, I what? Well, no, Scotty was just kind of. No, 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 no. I was gonna no. say, how about you suck my dick because nope. you being an, an asshole nope. and then it came out wrong. No, nope. you're no. Too late. No, I don't. Mark Ivor is in chat. No. He's gonna clip it. No, no. I, He's gonna I, clip I, it, I, guys. I'm sick right now. I can't really speak that uh, well. Uh, 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 no I, excuses. I, 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 the microphone. No. Nope. Microphone's glitching out. I don't. I. I don't know what happened. No. Nope. <laughs> No, Mom. I want her. Mom's got this. I want her. <sighs> I've heard <laughs> that the IPC has also received Penicone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us. Oh my god, Himiko is out here trying to flatter him. I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Oh, he's what? a brat. I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Oh, he's uh, a brat. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. Oh Damn, boy. Himiko knows how to speak his language, huh? The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. I think he runs you deep and wide, too. ...to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? <laughs> He's such, an such asshole. a bitch. I love him. Oh my god. I love him. I am obsessed. He's I'm about to make this man my whole personality. Oh no, I know you are. Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penicone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, oh. Miss Navigator, I must point out that... His voice. ...something about it now. The time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. You're <laughs> such a dick. I love it. I'm obsessed with him. But, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, oh. nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Much <laughs> like it kind of worked. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking Quotes. To a delightful time with you all. Okay, oh. I'm not. Oh my god. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Shut up, Scotty. So about the vouching? Mm -hmm. There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. Oh shit! Wow. You have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask uh. him to handle this matter later. Don't worry, I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but his voice. <laughs> Ali, just a moment. Oh, it's Sunday. It's him. He's so hot. He's Look got things. Now he, I would be more than happy oh, to make Scotty. friends with him. Nah, 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 nah. Excuses. Everybody already said uncommon Scotty W. No, 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 no. Ultra it's, rare Scotty W. How is that a W? Uh, that a, verse, that's not a oh, W. Verse. Archiver said clip in time. How is that a W? It's not a W. It's an Plenty. L. Plumpy, that's so real. I can't fix him and I love it. No. <laughs> Guys, he's a I criminal, him, but I don't a lap want dog to of, fix him. Oh, he's a criminal slash prisoner, but a lapdog of IPC is slaved by that. Oh, interesting. A oh, dick appointment? Yeah, literally, Spamton. Literally. He's got a dick appointment with this man. What do you mean? Family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. <gasps> Robin. This <laughs> handsome man. Oh my god! Renowned across the universe, Robin. Okay, Robin first of all, we are going to cosplay the siblings yes, because we must. I am a singer. Yeah. And uh and and I you can try can, to be fancy. You can definitely be fancy. Um That was a very horror thing of you to Aventurine say. Adventuring is a fucking horror, and I absolutely love it. I am living right now. 
And Robin is just really pretty, guys. Look She's at her. She's such a cutie. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentacon. <gasps> How interesting. She really is just like, She's so wow. cute. Oh, look at her hair. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. <laughs> this way, please. Let us speak in private. They talked about how hot they are to their to the people they know. Wait, they're gonna go talk in private? Oh, he's gonna suck his dick. What? Talking. Oh my God, Nicole! I'll stop talking! My God! Let's just let's just continue. Scotty, I'm sorry, but are you the? She oh my gosh, she's Marge Marge Marge. fan. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! A cutie. That's oh, adorable. Okay. So he's like, uh, d don't talk about my wife like don't that. Talk, don't, don't talk about my wife <laughs> like that. Oh my God! A member of the family on Penicone like him. Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penicone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penipony. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your Oh, story. Robin, I love you. Please, She's please. so pretty. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Oh, oh shit. Sunday, you're a real one. Tell to arrange for suitable accommodation. Bless up, fam. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family. And Damn. Has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, Relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time. He's a time. smooth talker, all right. I keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May our dreams be beautiful and pleasant. As beautiful and pleasant as you? Oh, it's just one surprise after another. <laughs> but since that Mr. Which day was he? Which day? Mr. Sunday's vouched for us. Which Can day? Finally check in normally? It's like Sunday here over here is March and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, miss. Uh, which month was it? Which month? Which day? Hmm. Hmm. I'm already a little winded. I hope we don't run into more trouble. The family's names are all the family names so strange. Oh, my goodness. It's just a stage name. I guess. I'm Question mark. Too. It's most likely some rule of Pentacone's or the family's. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Okay, so everybody has a stage name. Interesting. He's a smooth operator. He really is. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your oh. hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. Uh -huh. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dreams. Clock-in, huh? Favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. What? Huh. Happy bits? What? How? The of usage, the what? Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penicone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. What does this? What? Oh, this is this is giving very creepy vibes. I love it. This is really cool, guys. I'm Yay, actually thrilled. We got the, you escaped. You received the Dreamscape pass from the hotel. Open it and take a look. Sweet. 
What? What the fuck is that? It's an application automatic installed on your phones. What? Oh, it's so happy. Dear Dream Chaser, welcome to Patagonia. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dreamlike journey has already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life. And extraordinary courage is also needed to make the right to make the to make the choice to full heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await you ahead. Mm. We wish for you to leave behind all the worries of your mortal life, open a bottle of classic Soul Glad, and settle down to immerse yourself in the enjoyment of Panacone's dreaming miracle from the family. Family, family, family. Before you officially enter the dream pool, please make sure you have already read the dream advisory. Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such as the sensation of falling weightlessness or pain. Oh! Enter the dream lying on your falling back. Falling weightness, weightlessness or pain. What, I don't like what? that. Oh, wait a minute. I Wait, falling? We saw someone fall in the trailer. Uh-oh. I don't like this, guys, and hallucinations and stuff. Please mm. enter the dream lying on your back. Do not attempt to enter the dream when facing down, kneeling, or other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. What? Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. Drugs? The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative and or sedative and does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter what? the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, contact the hotel staff. This is really creepy. Do not enter the dream naked. What? Your initial appearance of the dream team is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you've ensured uh, that you are appropriately dressed. Was this a problem? Uh, yes. Scotty, do you think that it would... What's the rule? If there's a sign about it, it's happened before. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. What? what? Family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. On behalf of the Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. So this is like lucid dreaming, but on, on steroids. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> During this present period, the Reverie Hotel and the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing renovations. Golden Hour Dreamscape. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process to enter the Dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the Golden Hour. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused to your journey in the Dreamscape. What the fuck is this? What is going on? Okay, more handbooks, Trailblaze Mission, record everything you encounter on the pages, let to record your current feelings or your opinion about the story. What the fuck? Thank you for recording the drugs. The it's pass. drug land. Time to trip oh, some balls. We can do little happy stickers. Guess it's time to do drugs. We're all in agreement. This place He's, is so big. And the worst part sticker. is you have to walk everywhere. Imagine living in one of the rooms deeper into the hotel. Oh my God, dude. Can you imagine? I'm using, wait, no, I wouldn't have to. No, I'm we went to, her. we went to go see, um, yeah. we went Come to on. go see Elenium live. Uh, at the SoFi Stadium on Saturday, <laughs> I mean, and guys, and dead guys, ass, that's look. how it felt. Like we walked ten miles around that stadium. Hey guys, it was guys, huge. Look. Beep, beep, beep. Scotty, <laughs> Scotty, you realize nobody's on your side about this, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. Oh my god. All right. I spent too long playing around with the stickers. Oh, sick, Nexa. That's incredible. Nah, who said crack? It's Soul Glad. Dream World. I heard that Penacony transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait. The little children are skipping. I am so confused. Take the elevator where? To the VIP room. Oh. You can bring your girlfriends and meet me at, at the hotel room. room. You can bring your boyfriends and meet me at the hotel. Oh, oh, Pip really the said hotel. my rights. Motel. Holiday Inn. We Wait, my the... rights where? I, 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 Pipple said, said that. Long. Oh yeah, he did. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? No, Welch is acting like such a dad. <laughs> oh man, there's that too was such many a rooms. boomer dad thing to say. This is that's a treasure chest. 
<laughs> Common Scotty L. Co- what, ex- excuse me, how is that? An I told L? you no one was on your side about the adventuring shrink. Shut up. <laughs> acid trip? No, it's gonna be an acid adventure. Uh huh. Yay. Yay. That is so sick. That is so cool. That that is so fucking cool. Oh, Josh, no way. That song that March is talking about, it's real. It's a poem by Emily Dickens. Dude, I literally thought it rang a bell. That's so cool. Oh. By rights. Public rest area? What? Why is the IPC henchman here? Hey. Oh, I have a feeling I know who might be this here in that fancy. case. This is fancy. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Sounds good. Aww. Well, how about a drink first? <gasps> Ayo! Soul Glad is very famous. Oh my god, that's so cute! Ayo! Mom and dad are gonna go and have a drink at the bar. The kids are gonna go upstairs. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. <gasps> Mom and dad are getting some time I to love flirt. Mom and Dad! <laughs> Received. They're so marriage coded. I, I love, love them. them so much. Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Hmm. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Hmm. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father hmm. of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? What does that mean? Oh yeah, I do remember that. Wait, when was that? Wasn't that at the, when we got the invitation? I think it was. Yeah, remember? After the yeah. Topaz The quest. Topaz quest. Yeah, no, I do remember that now. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? Why do I Unless, remember it? I mean, I'm gonna have to go back and check. Man, can, anyone, effect. can anyone tell us if that was actually in the quest? Because now, now I'm curious. This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. Huh. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. Oh. The music it played had off key notes in the background secret message i recorded these dissonant notes and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump oh also the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key can i talk about your curvatures i'm sorry what well just looking respectfully regularly used by the nameless Oh, oh shit! Somebody's in distress. <gasps> Regularly used by the nameless. That's an what I old, said. an old, uh, old member passenger. Uh huh. Yeah. You think what I'm thinking? It's gotta be. Is it Akron? It might be Akron. It might be. That's my theory right now, at least. It may be a masked fool's trap. Oh. From the execution mm, sparkle. Itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. Huh. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. Right. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite mm. he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone and yeah. their duty to relieve us of any problems. Sunday, uh-huh. yeah. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. Oh. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Oh. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Dude, dude, in the yeah. dreamscape that we were in with Akron, she even said that she can't sing. Oh, shit. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? They weren't expecting us to come. The message could have it's been... possible. Uh, the fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. 
And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Hmm. Who is involved? Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. We're like, Mom and Daddy coming with us? But you said so yourself. This <laughs> The shrug! They're just like, eh, oh. I don't know. They're like, uh, Mom, Dad? Did, which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Oh, oh, what? What the face? The oh. face! <laughs> So I was the only one kept in the dark then. Sorry, oh, wait Dad. a minute. That's why we remember this. I too just found out about the invite thingy. Ain't no biggie when galactic baseball is in the house. Time to get involved. Oh my God, Stella. I need that one, Nicole. March. Panacone's situation is getting complicated. Let's tread lightly. Mm. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Uh, Himiko, can you go deeper in... Uh, 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 I knew that was coming. Yeah, you knew it was coming. <laughs> I mean, well, I, it, it's definitely not me! Not yet! Not right now! Let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Vegas. Yeah. To your rooms, get some rest and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Oh, we can speak with the crew, you. though. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Wait. So, question. Yes. Do we... Is there anything beyond this hotel in Panacone? I... Or is it all in the dreamscape? I have literally no idea. That's what I'm wondering about right now. That's very interesting. Okay, we can speak with the crew. There's Sprite in the back. Yeah, what's everybody's drink of choice? What are we drinking in Panacone, guys? So this is how astral high society <coughs> does things, huh? It's a little <laughs> loud. He's a he's like I I swear this is nothing more than a bunch of shit from home goods. Exactly. <laughs> oh, we can ask about all the stuff. They say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. The watchmaker. The family? The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars, a trait mm. that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so I don't think we need to worry about that for now. About the dream journey. The dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, okay. I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penacone's history and civilization. Huh. Grand Museum. Oh, 12, like 12 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, on the 12, know, yeah. 12 like, on a clock. 12 on a clock. That we chase may be stored in these places. Hmm. The past that we chase, I see. That's enough chit chat for now. Oh, past well, past wants to know about his past. Real oh, past. shit. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> so there is a real Pentecost. So this okay. is just the hotel. Okay, oh, I and, get it. And we will go into a dreamscape. That's, that's weird. Himiko? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or 
Do you have something on your mind? So I uh, can't sleep. Yes. I need a mommy to cuddle me instead. Uh, yeah. About the watchmaker, we can ask her well, now. We can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penacony's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. Hmm. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Hmm. About that IPC representative. <laughs> An IPC ambassador who knows more than he's <coughs> on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Oh no! I, I think so too, Himiko. Shut up, Scotty. Settles. We should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. True. About the dream journey. The dream Penicone is divided into twelve individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. Huh. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive oh. choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. Aww. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Can we only visit the family in the dreamscape? Yeah, it seems that way. What in the world? You must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night and sweet dreams. Where so what are you, Miko? Has she returned to her room already? Oh, we want to go oh, see Warch. Has she? Because like I didn't see her around here. I was also gonna ask, like, so what are Sunday and Robin doing here in that case? And why'd they say that they're? What, how did they phrase it? Like the actual people here, or something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, the act. Yeah, are like the actual like th they're the ones keeping an eye on things. Basically, I forgot how they phrased it. Something like that, though. Interesting. I, I I'm wasn't, scared. I wasn't really paying attention. Sundays was really pretty. Oh, March! Oh, Stella gets ready to dive in. Door open. Uh, e excuse me. What? What the fuck are you doing in my room? He's... What are you doing in my room? Oh, hello, baby girl. How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. Oh, uh, yes, want? in my room. This is my... <laughs> we meet again, friend. What if we What if we come at him with that attitude? Oh, the music. Oh. Oh, shit. We meet again, friend. <laughs> That's right, pal. Oh, oh I love him! He's playing into it! I love him! But daddy, I love him, sir! I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. What? <laughs> and now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Oh, there was a lot of disdain. You were the on one that who one. transferred it to me. You're the one who arranged it. Well, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Oh, you know what? He was being like all smooth about it. We're just going to come at him with why, like full on. Why? No, 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 no. Why don't we just, why don't we, why don't we? <laughs> Do that one. But that wait, but that's the middle of the road. <sighs> Fucking fine. Scotty. We already know he was the one that arranged the check-in. He was the one that did it all for us. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, you need to leave now. <laughs> the attitude. Oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. <gasps> Excuse me? Oh my god, I love him. Excuse me. I love him, he's such a bitch. I love him. Pentagoni's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? The reverie. 
I mean, think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Damn. Hold on, I'm rereading this. Sorry. Yeah, I got, I got distracted for a quick second. Okay. Shit. Wow. Jeez, you're a fucking asshole. I love him. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Uh, please. You, uh, what do you want to talk about? You should go talk to Himiko or Welt. Ooh. What do you no, want to talk I about? Mean, we'll, we'll play your game. Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god, I love him. He's so slutty. I love him. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. Uh-huh. You may or may not know this. Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. You need our help, you say. With what? My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. Things? If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Wait, are we what? really gonna fuck with the har- wait, wait, are we no, fucking no, no. with the preservation on the Harmony's turf, though? Excuse me, what do you want? He wants us to steal something, Scotty. What the fuck are you doing here, bro? Bro, what's going on? What is your deal right now? What's I'm, going on? I'm having on? a hard time understanding what you want. If you agree, when this is done, you'll stand a reap. Oh my god, words. sandwich! Oh, it's the twink that so desperately wants to be dominated. It literally yeah. is. He very much is. It's right in time. I'm loving that we're all agreeing. Oh my it's god. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. <laughs> that power. You really don't wish to use it. Or you don't want to be rid of it. Huh. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? Oh, Damn. wait a minute. The Celeron. He knows. No, no, he guys, knows. Guys, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is the fucking meme. It's Stella at a party holding a cup and everybody's they talking. They don't know, they I, don't have know I have a Celeron inside of me. Hey, but this fucker does. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. It's okay, Aventurine. We know you desire men. <laughs> Have I hit the nail on the head? Bro, how did you, know? you know? I don't know. What you're, I'm warning you, you need to leave now. But how does he know? Oh, warning me. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Nicole, do Bro, you think he you would tell us? No, but literally, he just said that we have the power uh, to like write our name in the stars, but we don't want to use it. We have like a fearsome, terrible power. And then he's like, oh, you want to make me leave your room? Try me, bitch. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. That's what uh, you're no going to do, right? right? I will look for you again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have something that I need to go sit on. <laughs> well, or go as far as to use me in turn. What? I that notion. You oh, want, what? You want us to use you? Also show me your true value. Scotty, that's his whole thing. Did you not read the light cone? He wants I, to be used. It wasn't the- Mood. it was his introduction. Mood. It's not what his- his introduction said that you can use me. Yeah, oh, fucking this guy. <laughs> I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. <gasps> Spamton, did we say the same joke at the same time? Don't let me down. Same brain Wi-Fi. I will think about it. Can I make this decision on my own? You should really be going. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep telling him to please just get out of my room! Get out of my house! <laughs> I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Leave! No. Matter what no. Happens, the outcome will remain the same. That's what Akron told us. Yeah. It's like he pushes us with his shoulder. I thought he was going to. Before I go, let's play another game. 
A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. Hmm. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. God damn, I love him! A chip is tossed into the air in the blink of an eye. I couldn't read all of it. All right. Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Left. Maybe. I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because. What? Oh, Frank. oh, cutscene. The game has already begun. What are you doing? Are you allow what? me to make you an offer. Where'd you get the glasses? One you can't refuse. A one Mafia. you can't refuse. It is Italy. <coughs> oh, and Vegas. No other choice. Oh shit. Huh? Who are you? Oh, oh shit! <coughs> In your room. <laughs> What this is Scully, happening right this now? This is my room, and I wanted to take a bath with my girlfriend. So get out. Some bitch already hit on my girlfriend once, and I was just gonna have a nice time with her, and now you guys Ariel. busted in here. Hey, Ethereal, I want that for you, bro. He said, I can do him. You can. I believe in you. This guy. I can't even imagine how this scene goes if you pick the guy option. Oh! Oh my God, Sandwich, can you imagine this scene with Silas? Wait, now I want to watch that. Excuse me, Stella is right here. Yes, I know. And she's doing such a good job being dominated by the twink. Now <laughs> That was so harsh. <laughs> you had so much emphasis on the twink part. Oh my oh God. My God. He's, okay. a, he's a power bottom. I love it. Well played. Oh shit. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't uh, I met her in a dream. A mere reminder. <laughs> this place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, uh, why haven't you left? No, what? it's not! Oh my god. <laughs> Have I come to the wrong room? Oh! Mexican standoff. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. What? Huh? Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong lock? I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. I have a strange feeling about this. Uh -uh. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps <gasps> rude, but I wish to know. It's the same question. Have we met somewhere before? It's what? the same one. What? Whoa, dude. I was about you. to ask perhaps in a, Guys, we said perhaps in a dream before. This may or sound embarrassing. Yeah. I See. Sometimes forget stuff I really shouldn't have from past experiences. Huh. It's just a habit of mine. Don't mind me. What guys, 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 on? theory, theory, theory. Yeah. What if we only get the red text stuff if we remember what we answered in the dream? Oh, shit. Because that You're seems to be it so far. Oh, uh, yeah, my name is Scutley. Nice How you doing, Akra? How, do you still remember me? <gasps> <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. <laughs> hmm. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. Galaxy Ranger. Galaxy Ranger. Call me. I remember that's her title. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. This She's is major the major deja vu. Though. Reminder. Don't well, be gentle with me, please. Me either. Possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. I know, isn't it pretty? One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. He's a gambler. Interesting. Interesting. I remember that. I remember his conversation with Ratio that we saw in the beginning. Right. I thought I you see. should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. No, don't, don't leave. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. 
Forget We're in no man's it. land now. Well, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? What? What now? <sighs> what are you... Why, Why are, are you, you back? back? Is there something else? I didn't take long for a reunion. Let's do that. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Wait. What the? Show Akra on the way, she thanks you again and again. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape path's <coughs> instructions. I'm... Huh. You remember the envo... What if Akron, a trick with it. What, what if Akron got stuck in the dreamscape or something? Shit. And that's what's going on with her. Mexican standoff. It literally was a Spider-Man meme. Literally. Akron pegging a venturing. You're so big brain for that. You're big brain. You are so big brain for that. So the biggest of brains. Even though she's probably got a really big strap. I mean, well, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I should hope so, at least. I'm just I'm just saying. Uh, if it's Vegas and gambling's there, where is Ching Show? Yeah! Yes, QQ! She should have come with us. What the fuck did you just say to me? What did, you, did you just... An oh. honored guest? Oh. I'm scared. That's creepy. That's creepy. I, I don't know That's if I want- What the fuck is that? Why is it following me? Guys, guys, why is it following me? Why is it following me? Wait, why is it wait, following me? Wait, what if Xiao will leap out then because he's in my dr- Get in the pool, Scotty. Oh, wait, calling you? <gasps> Dive in. <laughs> it's time to fucking dream. <laughs> you approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Robin? Fragrance per permeating the air. I don't know how to speak, Nicole. Uh. Together, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. If Robin wants to sing to me, she I mean, she can. I, I'll be glad for that. Yeah. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious, reminiscent of ripened fruits in a distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Lie down in the dream pool. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. It's the cold. Female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains, while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Drugs. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Oh, shit. <gasps> Cutscene. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Mm. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. It's like hypnosis. Just oh, the bubbles. Breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. The whales. Whoa, why is the it clock. glitching though? <gasps> what? Who's Mikhail? Who was that? What are we seeing? Who cried out? Why are we falling? Misha? Why was that Misha's face? Ratio, what are Ratio? you doing? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Face. Hey, I just realized. Where's that <gasps> handsome bust of yours? He's what? looking at his chest! His top <laughs> well, that's it guys, pack it up, my ship is sailing. Oh my god. Right. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. Oh! You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, <laughs> I suggest not tangling with the <laughs> he's, he, Basically, he's trying to say it should have been that fucking important that he's wasting his time. You mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? No, <laughs> I don't. His eyes are beautiful. Do not make friends. For uh, fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and... Your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. He's checking him out! He checked out the titties he too! He checked him out! It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. <laughs> the family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? It's like adventuring, you sure talk about cock a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, some, for a straight guy, you sure talk about cock a whole lot. Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Uh, where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot 
Oh! Oh shit! Oh, enemies to lovers. Oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Also, wait, I just realized something. I'm, I'm gonna create a new trope for you guys. Ready for this? What? Lovers to enemies. <laughs> <laughs> that's this. That's uh, that's Cherry and Joe from oh, but State. That's, but that's more divorce, divorce core, core, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. This that's is true. more lovers to enemies. Or are they still They're having the a titty off. They are. <laughs> my titties are better than yours. He's just like, yeah, right. My titties are out all the time. What a good time for a new chatter to join us. Hello oh my welcome God, to wow. Star. They welcome. said, um, sir? Sir? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. <laughs> Oof. Serial number on your neck, Ooh. A from the Amber Lord. Oh my god, he's a fucking Whoa. dog! He's a slave. He was branded! Yo. What? Who the fuck is the Amber Lord? I saw that, I'm like, that, when you said that was a tattoo or something like that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like Look, the Amber Lord is the preservation. What? That's another name for the preservation. A god? Is it yes, an eon? Yes, e it's an eon. Oh. The Amber Lord is Wait, so the he's serving... Oh. No, he's making... No, he's mocking him. The, he's, he's like... He's saying he's, he's a doomed Sigonian thrall sentenced to die by the IPC. Uh, yeah, no, no, or is I that serial it. number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber? Like, it's mocking him. Like, I see, I see. He, it was, it's not... He's, he, the IPC owns him. <laughs> I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my- I love homework! <laughs> I love it so much! Arrest Penacone back from the IPC otherwise. Frontier prison. <laughs> Don't worry, doctor. I have my ways. Oh my god! He fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Panagoni might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Oh yeah, they definitely are. 100%. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. Well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to explain. <laughs> it's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. <laughs> A true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. <laughs> now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't <gasps> teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. He's like, school's for nerds! Like you! I did not mean to offend. None take. Oh! But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Abjans. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. Are we gonna see them? The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern. The tavern, that's the, the masked fools, right? Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a galaxy ranger. Akron. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? Oh, he left! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? <laughs> well, seems like I'm on my own again. Nah, he he loves you, bro. Don't worry. There was a treasure, I, I there was a treasure chest in his room. I, I want to. I I've seen this scene before. The dreamscape. Oh. The atmosphere here creeps me out. And what was that weird noise just now? 
And the visions of terrible things happening. Everything's floating. It's the same Whoa. place that we were in before. Uh, <coughs> note? Oh. Watchmaker's advice. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it and then you shall be granted an audience. Interesting. This way. What? Can oh. you see me? Misha? Here. What is... Please, what? Come this way. What? The door appears unopenable from this side. What? Why is it red? What the hell? What is going on? Enter the dreamscape. What? Ah, you're here. Wonderful. What the fuck? Oh, I... I thought you wouldn't notice me. What is going on? What? What? What is... What? Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. We meet again. This whole place looks weird. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I huh. apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the Golden Hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. What happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What is Golden Hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Golden okay. Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and okay. its time coincides with midnight. Oh. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. That's, that's why it's always night in Penacone. That's unsettling. Hour. Okay, that's unsettling. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. I just picked up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was uh, I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. Uh, no, it was more like... It, never mind. It's it, okay. Uh, How do I get to Golden Hour? Just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. Okay. This is so wild. Please be careful. I mean, we can't fall off. It's it's I'm fine. Tripping all types of balls. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, good night, Spamton. Now that I've seen the girls and the gays, I'm low battery. Yes, do you See go you get next some rest. Time, Spamton. Have a good rest. All right, we're entering the, the dreamscape properly, I guess. Let's go. Oh, this is so creepy. I love it. It's so good. Cut the oh, Whoa. We're falling? Whoa. Why are we first? falling? Oh my god. That's scary. We're flying! Oh! Silly smile. Why are they saying, huh? This is not normal? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh God! Ow! My bones. Uh. What? Um. So this is not normal. That's not normal. Oh, hello, Robin. Oh, Robin on Sunday. Uh, are you all right? Uh, the fall didn't hurt at all. I think I'm hallucinating. Are we in heaven or? Yeah. I, 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 angels. Pretty Beautiful. angels. Woke me up. Arrived at the dreamscape. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. This is so wild. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles, and you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her late green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Is this a fan fiction? Yes. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of time and space of the time space. You resonate with and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums, leading the symphony. Don't Whoa. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. 
They chant, instinct, com instinct compels, and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your drugs. melodies slow down, drugs fade away like a lullaby, <laughs> a seven colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes to your eyes. It's movement center and compassion. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. Drugs. You open your eyes and feel a, vital a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be huh. fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What does that mean? What did you just do to me? Did you brainwash me? What was that sound? Which one? Oh, we keep hearing a sound. <laughs> what, what? Do I ask about it? I don't know. I'm Maybe. going. Maybe. I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. With the harmonic tune. Oh. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Uh huh. Essentially, uh -huh. the dream of Penacony is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. That's a great analogy. I get it now. This is deep. Does it mean I can levitate in the air? <laughs> Theoretically, you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all... We don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Oh, but we're playing with it! Great! It can be difficult at first to manipulate- Oh, Memo Keepers of the Garden! Oh. Once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. So she used sound therapy on us. Got it. I see. Wonderful. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. <laughs> I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. It's okay, I know one that is actually a know-it-all, and he has a statue head sometimes. He wears it. It's normal. And Robin is just like, what? wow. Cool. Please enjoy the that sounds real. The family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. No, don't leave. Oh, March is texting us. March! Do we still have our phone? Oh, we have our phone in the dream. Hey, hey. We can even send messages in the dream. You there yet? I'm there now. I think. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I just got in touch with Himiko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's going to be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? Oh, okay. You're at the golden hour. I heard the green dreamscape sales store there is super famous. Can you please check it out for me? Pretty please. If it's really fun, I'll have it. There. Okay, fine. I'll buy you something, March. I'll buy fine. you. I'll, I'll buy you a keychain. I'll buy you a little keychain. Should I visit it? We should. Uh, yeah. This place is bustling. There are so many oh. people living in the dreamscape. This place is bussing. This place is bussing. Look, it's bussing, bussing on it's God. Vegas. Gay okay, pie? It now. Look, it's gay pie! Look at guys, gay pie. Yay. Wow. Okay, <laughs> y'all, this is so sick. This is really sick. It literally looks like Vegas. Scotty, can I take a really fast restroom break? I was about to say I might need to take a small ish right, break my myself. I might put on the uh, the lily screen for like 0. 0.2 seconds. Okay, okay, give us a few minutes, guys. We'll, we'll be, be back right in like back. 0. 0.2 seconds. Don't nope, go anywhere. Nobody it's go anywhere. Literally, not give me more than like five seconds. So just just hold on, hold your horses. We'll be back in like two minutes, two seconds, ten seconds. We'll we're be not back consistent in... with our our promises of time. No, we're not. But we'll be, we'll be right the back. Dreamscape.
And we're back. Sorry, guys. Thank you so much for waiting. We popped on some tea. So if the tea kettle whistles in the background, you know it's whistling. Yep. And it's not going to just be me and all the women in this universe. Content. <laughs> and adventuring. We all caught you in 4K. I don't like him. Yes, you do. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. Gay pie. Woo. <coughs> Are you EP ethereal? Oh, my God. I mean, it's fair. It's. It's late, but also the, the beautiful Twink will have dreams of him. And and the quest. Wait, I know about this. Wait a minute. Did someone say I have to get hit by a car? <laughs> yep. Hit Rules are made to be broken. Your car. Rules are made to be broken. It's what, oh, it's it's what friend said. Just yeah. hit us with your car. Exactly. We got hit by a car. Yes, it's my, it's my favorite thing in the entire world. Oh my god, 32 chests? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Lordly chocolate. trash can. You Do you want chocolate? some chocolate? No, I'm okay right now. Anyone else want some chocolate? Here, guys. It's Milka brand. It's really good. It's Oreo. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and let's move on. Huh? Oh, uh, 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 what? It, it's... What? Did that billboard just move? Can you please stop? Oh my god. What? Uh, uh, fucking! What do you want? You know what this is, guys? It feels like someone is Why trying to, to sell, sell me something. something. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What's so special about Soul Cloud? Whoever answers correctly will get Soul Cloud for free. Refresh. I can't go in and around about my day without drinking it. Well said. All right, we've we've got some Soul Cloud. Cool. And what do you want? Mr. Herring's rides the waves with your taste buds. Lemon tarts. Uh, uh it seems kind of weird. Are you bothered by the herring in the picture? Oh. Not, oh, it's a what? I'm sorry. It's a fish. We stopped using it a long time ago. A red herring! It's what Aventurine said. Bro, if you're interested in trying your products to fish at the grocery store in your neighborhood. Uh, okay, leave me alone. Advertisements. <coughs> YouTube advertisements. Be like... <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Whoa. Is that a giant eyeball? Cirrus? Where? Where? Oh, oh, shit, that is a giant eyeball. Dr. Edward? What? Whoa. Whoa. Yep. The fuck? Silly. Yep. I'm Who's tripping balls. Talking to me. I'm tripping balls right now. Who? How do you know who I am? I don't like this. What? I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pinnacle, isn't it? Yes, uh, yes. Oh, what if we said no? Oh, shit, I should have done that! Be. I should have said no. Purchase your first dreamscape? What? It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. Oh. What? <clears throat> How do you know what I want? Is this the memory of Akifili? How many... Uh, is this memory? Let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Why would I? I am so what? scared. Touch the dream bubble? I'm afraid. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? What? What? So what? Here, how come Bomb Bomb is here? My Akavili now. What's going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble. You will be living through another person's past memories. 
What? A past trailblazer? Yeah, Agavili. That's what this is. I see. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning. I'm listening. Why isn't there any sound now? Who's speaking? Do I have to do the voiceover for Akavili myself? Mm -hmm. My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akavili. However, that's weird. Oh, oh the shit, tea's going the off. Tea. Who wants some tea, guys? I'll make some fun. Oh my god, it's so loud! I need to get up! Oh my god, it's so loud! Ah! I'm deaf! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr. Edward said I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience, but you can choose anyone's voice for Akavili's as long as it's a voice you're familiar with. Hmm. Interesting. Anyone's voice will do. Doesn't have to be the voice of someone I'm close to. That's quite a convenient feature. Doesn't have to be the voice of someone I'm close to. I wonder. Should I ask that, Nicole? Yeah. He said yes. Weird. Yeah. All right. Maybe I shouldn't click anymore so you can hear it too. No, no, no. Please make a decision. He said, "Please make a decision." Okay. Ooh! Wait! Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a sec. There's a let me see who else option. Who whose other voices can we do? Because we have March 7th. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I choked on my own spit. No. For those of you just joining us, I am uh me and Nicole are both sick. And when that happens, uh I choke on my spit quite often. Nicole, can you bring me a water, please? Yes. Much appreciated. Yep. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What's with the song? It's a bop. God damn. Oh, no, it is. All right. Uh, Mark seven. Don Hung. Pom pom. Who else do we have though? Kimiko, Welt, myself, and another gender? Sealess! Is Sealess. that gonna be Sealess? Do it. do it, Scotty, if you don't do it. I I'm curious. It would be funny to make it be Pom Pom talking to Pom Pom. But no. Is that Sealess? Sealess? Let me try that. Let's go. Is it really it's also canon because Shelly is the most gender fluid character ever. Truly. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? You rode snowmobiles into the Tokyo oh. Stadium and oh. disrupted the match, causing oh. the match to be suspended. Because of you, that sounds lit. 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Without pay? Guilty to this charge? Oh my god. Yes, I plead guilty. It's yeah! Yes! That's so sick. Sorry, I got really excited. So if people play Celis, they can play, they can hear Stella's. Oh my oh, god! That's so sick. That's so cool. Oh hell yeah! What? Whoa! Oh, oh my! <laughs> Uncontrollably! <laughs> Uncontrollable oh sex God. from the, the <laughs> fucking what the nose walkers? Yes, I plead guilty. Oh my God! Oh my God. Pom pom pies. Oh, 
Oh. What was wrong with this guy? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Oh, oh my god, god! Seamus! Why he always sound like something's happening to him? Culinary offenses. Oh. Of entire entries disappearing from the express data bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. What? What? The conductors rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. No. What do all these have to do with Akavili? The trailblazing expedition of yours is indeed an elating one. Wait. <gasps> Elation? What? Wait a minute. Scotty, explain. hold on a second. No, the masked fools. Is that something to do with them? And that's not even Elation, I see. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry, I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. <laughs> no, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. What? Who? Who? The guy who blew up the train into two pieces. What the oh, hell? Shit. I mean, yeah, that would be pretty bad, honestly. That's all for the content of this dream. How was your Huh. Plague, that's interesting. They said now my head cannon is that Akavilia's main characters passed before they lost their memories. Yeah. It you know what? Be. I was thinking something of the sort myself. Celis' voice is so... Honestly, you know? You know, you're not wrong. If you don't know, this is a reference to Kafka's Myriad Celestia trailer. Oh, shit, really? Oh. Oh, yeah, it is a reference. Yes, because of all the, uh, the, 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 what the fuck? The, the, oh, the, yes, the Gipella Rebellion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the questioning. Yeah. yeah, of course. What do all these have to do with Akavili? Really? If you're interested in experiencing the dream level again, you can purchase it with credits. Uh, I almost expected something like this, so that first dream bubble for free was just a sales pitch, huh? This dream mm. bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? Uh, I'll buy it. Hmm. <laughs> that is expensive as fuck. Damn. Okay. Fuck yeah, we okay, get a sticker. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. No, no, definitely not. What? Oh, What's who? What's all the emotion about? <gasps> what? Oh my god! Don't even think about running away. You stole away. It's so Firefly! Oh! Oh my god, she's so pretty. She's adorable! Oh! What a cutie! Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Oh my, oh god, my god, I love her voice! I'll do my best to protect a pretty young lady. Yes! Yes! And we're all proud of it. She has an accomplice. Uh, yeah, she does. Now we can nab them both in one go. Oh, what? we're fighting? What is going on? Why are we fighting in the dreamscape? Uh, because oh, why not, I suppose. Here is the most precious girl in the whole game. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I've heard so many people say they love her, and I cannot wait to she see her. She looks like her. baby. She's adorable as fuck. Nexus says, just so you know, it was Aha the Elation who blew up the train. It was in the oh. simulated universe that Aha pulled a prank on Akavili. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh. I feel like I remember that from like one of the early days of playing simulated universe. Now Got that I think it. about it, that sounds really familiar. Okay.
That's it, oh. boys. Who are you? Who are you? Oh! Oh, it's Gallagher! Gallagher! Oh my god. He has facial hair. Daddy, sorry. Uh, sir. Sir. I've gotten into you all. Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Germany Festival. Oh, um, they sent security. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway, and that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. Stowaway on what? Sense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. A lad with silver hair? Weird. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Music slops. Sorry. Why is it a bop? You went through back there. Yeah, you're good, Daddy. Oh my I mean, God, he's what? so hot. I love him. The bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. <laughs> because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. What about the stowaway? Who's the silver-haired guy? Who are the... Who's the silver-haired guy? Yeah, who are they? I, I, there are a lot of questions I want to know, but middle. who's the... Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> the Bloodhound family are guards of the dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties are <coughs> protecting people who try to enter our world illegally. Oh. But we got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacony. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Hmm. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. No. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. I'm happy to help, but if my help doesn't come for free, Galactic Baseball are at your service! Oh, what? god we... damn it, Stella, why are you so dumb? Unhinged. <laughs> you're funny. Oh. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> she's I'm cute. Nice. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? How do you know? Are the nameless really that famous? <laughs> The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. Oh, is that what we were supposed to be watching? Well. Uh, we were busy uh, playing games on our phone. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oops. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be Maybe. happy to show you around. Uh, we think oh, so, at least. So oh, cute. yes. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the oh, island. Oh, Firefly. Family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When oh. When I'm acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Oh, she's adorable! That's awesome. It's awesome. I happen to need a, I happen to need, need a tour guide. I'm glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. She's so cute. Over here. Oh, she's running. A bad idea to get to know about this place. Dakota is here. Hello. Hey, yo. Let's go. Playing your Let's favorite game, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. Ooh. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. What? As long as what? you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Burger! 
Board game! Board game! Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. What? You can come back for the next time. That's bullshit. That's a scam. What's with the tail on the... What's with the tail? Oh my on goodness. On the billboard. Is it a doggy billboard? Is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. What? Oh, You're taking, she, us oh, taking us out to dinner? That fast? We just met. Oh my god, she's a whole cutie patootie. I adore her already. I do too. Nothing bad's gonna happen to her, right guys? Right? Say say that, right? Nothing bad will happen to Firefly, right? Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Guys, I'm serious. I'm worried now because like I kept I'm seeing scared. a lot of people say this that everyone loves Firefly and that something bad happens in the storyline. I kept seeing her name trending on Twitter. And I'm it worried. Was making me really nervous. Please tell me she's okay. Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil. We don't know Scotty, anything about this. Shut up. Don't don't spoil. Do not put anything in the chat for Scotty. Spoilers. Stop asking them for it then. I'm not asking anyone for anything. Obviously. Well, you Fighting in a dream. All I can think of is Shelly punching the air in her sleep mood. Cake, pizza. Today it's my treat. Oh. Oh. Thanks. That's very nice, Fusion. I should warn you. I do have very expensive taste. No, come on. But that be wait. She might laugh. All right. That shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. Oh, we were Scotty. joking. We were just joking. God damn it. Oh, she has a budget of of Firefly's budget. All right. D Dilf, father, sorry, I know. <laughs> Y'all, did we see Gallagher? What's Panacone's He is giving dish? Ryo vibes. Ooh. Pizza. <gasps> he does look like Victor from Arcane. You're right. You're so real for that one, actually. Okay, guys, what are we ordering? We got the pizza already. What else Ooh. are we ordering? What, guys, you choose what we order next. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ooh, that looks so Pizza, good. ice cream. Uh, do we want to blow all of her budget, though? No. Probably not. What else is there? Maybe a drinky? Uh, pico white grape soda. No, Potato I, fries sundae. Let's just, do, let's just do the pizza and the ice cream. The Bordier does look really good, though. Let's do that. Let's, let's just do that. Okay? There we go. We didn't waste all of her budget. See? Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. She's I so cute. Your oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Oh, doesn't that get expensive? Aren't those high in calories? No! Expensive. That's why I only have one per day. Let's walk while we eat. <laughs> it's time to head to the next stop. <laughs> She's actually tied for first with Branya for me for favorite characters. I can't, just can't put one over the other. Damn, really? Josh. Really? That's saying something. That is a bold statement to make, man. She's really sweet. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. Mm -hmm. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. A burger with burger and onion with onion. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, you remember. <laughs> you remember that from our freaking uh, Jackbox episode? Hey, Thereal, dude. Y'all never let me get over anything. Or no, it was Among Us. I'm sorry. Over here. Yeah. Follow me. I'm following you, girly. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Uh, what would that? The, the clock? What the? What the? Oh! The statue of Clocky. Demon! Penny's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. Mickey Mouse. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Holy. He looks cute. His character design is a little surrealist. It's not even a clock as a character a bit ominous. Ooh. Maybe that one. Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? What? What? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? What? Watch watchmaker, is he famous? No. I can't believe you haven't heard. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. What? He, he made the dreamscape? I'm sorry, what? Is he Floppy Feets? 
Did he create the mindscape? There were different stories out there about the watchmaker's <laughs> origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Pentaconi as a prisoner. Whoa. Some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. No, I believe the prisoner one because That's... prison. Also, <clears throat> everybody say night night to sandwich and oh my goodness. No problem, dude. I shall check our uh, DMs <clears throat> on Instagram. ASAP so that we can answer your question. Uh, have a very good rest. Thanks yes. for being here, Thank fam. Thank you for joining us for as long as you did. Heck yeah. Hello, Arrows! Welcome, Arrows. welcome! Oh my welcome, goodness. Welcome, welcome. We're like, we're getting into this. Into I feel the like thick of it. It's strange. I feel like we've just gotten started, but also we've been going for a while, so I feel like we're getting a lot of it done. I think so. I feel like at least. I'm hoping. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. I was, uh, hold on. I was going to just say this really fast. Yes. Um, it's strange to me that Panacone was a prison, a prison at one point. Yeah. It, and the dreamscape being a thing is making me think of what's that ending in FNAF called? Oh, the Brazil ending. Yeah. That's what this feels like. Yeah. It what does. if he was a prisoner and he escaped being a prisoner by going into delusions. That's and created the oh, dreams. Do you understand? What, oh, like, that's train of dark. Here? Oh, that's dark as shit. That's what I think is going on. His inspiring story became known across the cosmos. Those with a dream flocked to Penaconi in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Panacone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as red, <coughs> full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating a nameless, huh? Like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Huh. Akavili? Maybe? Hmm. Wait, no, not Akavili. Couldn't be. The watchmaker really was a nameless. Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Oh, <laughs> thanks. I think I'll pass some allergic to camera lenses. No. Aha, uh -huh, I know how this one goes. You're going to charge me for a lot just to no, take a pic. No, thanks. thanks. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Stella, be normal. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, it, is it talking? Help. Help me. What? What? You hear a pitiful cry for help. The cry is coming from the clocky's eyelashes. The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. That is so creepy. What the fuck? I'm I'm I'm, what? So, I'm sorry. Uh, comm commemorative picture. Are we taking the picture first. Sure. Yeah. Please give me your phone. I'll take it for you. Ah. Jeez. Okay, guys. One for the mantle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we look like a fucking tourist. <laughs> God look, damn it. look at Stella. Not a pose or anything. Just. Jeez. Jeez. God damn, that's my favorite picture ever now. Aww. Help me. Pull me out, please. Uh, okay, god damn I'm, it. I'm scared. You took a nice pick with Clocky. Yeah. Uh, the eyelashes are still begging for help. Oh. I... I Normal. Okay. Yank! What are you? The fuck are you? Hey, hey, hey. You? Beautiful, person. Beautiful oh. person. We're getting so many compliments why, why today. Why is it a silly little bird with a British accent? The tree? Show you nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? After lying out an adorable chirp, the bird flies away. What? In the world. Before we left, the teams have offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there, seeing just what exactly the nice thing is. is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump? 
Firefly you, doesn't uh, see it. Did you not see it? I rescued a bird, a bird with sharp edges and points. I can actually jump in this world? Color me surprised! No, Reference save to the game. Bird. First one. <laughs> a bird with sharp edges and points. Uh oh. Um, I don't think I saw it. What? Well, what? If you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Well, either we're hallucinating or there's stuff only we can see. Origami, origami bird. bird. Origami bird brings birds bring branches and precious stones. If you see through the bird's mimicry, okay. So it's a gameplay thing, it seems like. Or like a gameplay mode or some something of the sort. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Where are we going now? Can you see that building in the distance? What's That's that? The famous Grand Theater. Another great landmark of Penacony. Oh shit, it's kinda of beautiful though. Yeah. Is that Robin on the picture over on the right? Oh shit! God damn! It was a pretty unique shape, doesn't it? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. Why? Oh. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Oh, great! It was built. The Grand it's Theater has almost like Fontaine. Dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. It's almost like Fontaine. How so? Like, because the opera epic class it also doubles as trial grounds. Oh yeah. It's a courtroom and an opera. This place was a prison renovated into a theater. Shit. During the once in an era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. <clears throat> the choir in the background is terrifying. Really have fun. Yeah. Where are we going, girly? She's so cute. I really like her. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Uh, okay. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic huh. soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. What? Huh. A man named Susa. It was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which what? he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And what? Syrupism! He created a commercial miracle. What does that even mean? Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamly, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Huh. Okay. So the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Uh, okay. Syrupism, that's a, it's a cult. She abruptly freezes in that fleeting moment. You notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow or perhaps somewhere behind you. What's up? Why are you, what are you looking at? Firefly returns her warm and gentle disposition. Was she looking at us? Like, and by or, us, I mean us, not Stella. Oh, you mean like breaking the, the fourth wall? Like looking at the player? What the hell? For no one. Let me show you around. What uh, was that? What the? What is? What? See these I'm scared. Instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many what? objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. Oh. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. I know I saw that but too. And uh transform into the destructive dream jolt troop. What? Have you ever run into them? Go ask the security guards nearby. What's the destructive dream jolt troop? What? 
there are dangerous troops? A theater, yes. Let me get some ID and token. Wait, there's a, th a, a what? What? What is this? A ride? Gambling? Oh. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID and tokens for her? Another streamer that I watched said they basically created lean. Basically. Yeah, you know what? I was about to say it's uh, just drugs. Hey, Archiver, you're back. No worries, man. Welcome, welcome. We are in the Firefly Tour por portion. We are. Good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Pentacony to the fullest. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Okay, let's live life to the fullest. Let's do it. Let me see which one should we try first. Uh, okay. Since this is your first time here. I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. Lucky wheel? Is this the lucky huh. wheel? That's the golden capsule machine. What else can I look at? Ice cream. <gasps> floating ice cream. I want ice cream. Yes, I, I, I gobbled up a floating ice cream. Fuck yeah. What a satisfying experience. <laughs> don't, don't walk away, girl. You have a floating ice cream. Uh, okay, maybe we'll start with the dreamy slots, I guess. All right, guys. Time to gamble our life savings away. <laughs> Boom. I got prize. Something on your first attempt. Impressive. What else can I look at here, though? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, that must be the wheel thing. Where is that, though? Am I blind? I can't see it. Am I dumb? Oh, that's the wheel. Okay, lucky wheel. So I'm assuming we just have to use up all the tokens in that case. Board gear! Oh, I got the super big prize! Fuck yeah. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we take a look at? Please do not hit the entertainers. Golden capsule machine? Ooh, wait. Oh, that's a good thing. I'll go and get some drinks. Oh, she's gonna get us drinkies? Fuck yeah. Ah, yes. Gambling our lives away, guys. It's not unlike... It's not unlike us pulling for characters. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had to obtain the reward first. Yes. This music is kind of terrifying. I kind of love it, but it is terrifying. Yeah, it's very, it's very She's creepy. Oh, it says that, wait. It said, Damn, but time. What's taking Firefly so long? She's heading toward the bar. She's getting us drinkies. Hooray. I mean... I feel like it, it says that th that's optional to find Firefly and bring the sightseeing to an end. So I think I should probably use up all the tokens first, right, guys? Right? Maybe. Maybe everything's fine. Bum, 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 bum. We're gambling our lives away tonight. It's gonna <laughs> be a good time, and maybe we'll not get some good things in this streamscape in the mind. Good job, buddy. Did you like my song? I loved it. One more token, guys. One more, one more token. I mean, I, I bring the sightseeing to an end. Uh, I'll spend all ten tokens first. I mean, I don't want to upset her. She said, let's spend all of our shit. It's two tokens each. God damn it. Fine. All right. I'll 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 gamble my life away on slots again, I guess. Boom. Used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Yeah. 
Oh, I got the super big prize, boys! Fuck Let's yeah! Go. Hell yeah, I got the super big prize. I'm kind of good, guys. Alright. Hey, Firefly! Did you have fun? I, I, I did. Tony's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's nice. Everywhere is just magical. You sound a bit sad. Really? I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. Oh. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. Oh, Firefly, where did you come? Aren't you a local? You shouldn't attach your feelings. Are you really a stowaway? I... I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Huh. Why is she so sad? What's going I, on? I come closer. Closer, please. I have a question for you. Yeah? Did you travel here alone? Uh, no, I'm on vacation with uh, my girlfriend and our parents, who yeah. are different parents. Depends on what you want to do. Uh, my friends went to the other dreamscapes I am, at least for now. No, no, my friends went. Yeah, went to the other dreamscapes. Oh, we look sad. I see. Why do you look I'm so... I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Because what? Why? Someone's been following you. Who? Who? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. Is it adventuring? Our tale since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Hmm. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. Wait, who? That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Hmm. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has oh my god, wait a minute! Oh no! my god! I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Oh what? yeah. So I like, just whips no! around. No! <laughs> no! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hello! Hello, shampoo <laughs> Costco! <laughs> what are you doing here? He's here for you, Scotty. Don't wink at me, you bitch! She's gonna give you a little kissy. No, you! To run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. I'm in I fuck know. today. Fucked Sam because this po. is... What? A, I can't be dreaming. No, no, I? no. <laughs> We're like, no, 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 no. This is <laughs> Of course you're in a dream. I <laughs> dream. It's more like a nightmare now. <laughs> No, just disappointed. So it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? So, uh, like, he's a don't you person what? I know. After all the favors I did for you. Miss March. This is not... You can't... He's remember. like, are you cheating on March? You should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? <laughs> He's gonna say something smooth like he only remembers us. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. Good it's Lord. It's pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. We are oh, not sure friends. sure you are, Sempo. Since sure when did I acknowledge are. you as my friend? Ah! Uh, don't be like you're making things awkward. Yeah, we're making things awkward. What's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? 
my purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else do you do in Pentacle? <laughs> well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Sure. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. No, a me. Tour. We went with uh, her in instead. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, oh my God! Much better. Sam Excuse me, you what? Are so trashy, and I love it. What are you gonna show us? You know. Entertainment for grown-ups. He takes us to some after-hours club. He's just he like, starts pole like dancing. <laughs> you like this shit? And so I was like, I want to go home. <laughs> This is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. We just gambled our Damn. lives away. Of course, we Sampo, saw the adult bu world. Buy us a drink first. Mr. Sampo. <laughs> Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Yeah, you. <laughs> This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Not yes. any more than usual. <laughs> oh my god, fucking Sampo. Arrow said, ooh, I like the VA. Yeah, his VA slays. Uh, I know nothing about this game, but I've seen this fucker. What must I know? Uh, uh well, he's a little rat man. He is. He's uh he's a little con artist man. He's uh, uh, we love him. He's uh apparently I'm sorry, slutty. I love him, but uh Scotty has a lovers to enemies, enemies to lovers relationship. Oh no, it's amazing. He is to slutty. Me. That's true. Nicole hated him so badly when we first started playing. I did. I even I said did. I hated him. He's not that guts. bad. No, I and love then him. I started hating him more, and Nicole started loving him. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck happened, guys? Oh my god, that art though. What art? This art? Yeah. I know. It's our. It's Stun our in. thumbnail. It's, it's incredible. I know. All right. What kind of illegal shit are we doing now, Sam Poo? He's our buddy old pal. Sam Poop. <laughs> First of all, Sampo, you can get away from Firefly. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Hey, he's a hot rat man. I'll take it. See, you have taste, Eros. I mean... Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. If your tastes <laughs> are bland... Shut up, Scotty. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him. Scotty loves him. I do not. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Pinball ma Wait, what are you talking about? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could The family. Family. This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Oh my thrills. god. Thrills, chills, kills. Come on, pal. <laughs> Show her what you're made of. No, oh, Sampo, like you want to know. You would love to know Start all the about that. pinball machine. This looks neat. What? Oh! <clears throat> Click to select the plate. No wonder Firefly was worried. Expand energy to activate the plate. What? <laughs> what? We're going to shoot out of a cannon. What the fuck is this? What the... Click on the plate and consume energy to activate it. Once activated, it can be rotated. Rotate. Wait, what? What plate? This? I Wisteria see. is here. Welcome, welcome. Hey, yo, welcome. They said, I wish I could have come earlier. It's all good, fam. We are just, we're exploring the dreamscape right now. Yeah. We're Firefly and we just ran into Sampo. Yep, we sure did. Uh, why the fuck is Sampo Koski here? Good fucking question. He just had Why to come around. Why is everybody in Penacone right now? The lower level of the commercial district. Oh, Bingo. that's kind of beautiful. Our destination is right there. Peppy Papeshi Salon. Peppy Papeshi. Peppy Papeshi. Who's that? Peppy. Uh, uh, it's Peppy Papeshi, Nicole. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? What is this that? Is no ordinary <laughs> salon. The Why is that man dancing like that? Papeshi people. Look at him! Oh my god, he's coming off! VIP cards. To the windows! Sorry. To the walls! Everything is difficult for you. Everything is difficult for you. This man Why is does it, so extra. Why is a child? Why is a child the bodyguard? What? 
What is <laughs> that? It's like Mallow and Zelda. Oh, it's you. You here to relax? You know the deal, bub. <laughs> Pay up. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm, how many of you? Three. <laughs> he just said. He just <laughs> said two fronts. He can't. He's like, I'm only five. I can only count to this many. <laughs> he holds up two two fingies. He's and I have a feeling it's fake as fuck, bro. Um, <laughs> how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> ha, logic. <laughs> oh my god. My VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, okay. Break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Oh no. Seems like we can't go in. Firefly's like, you know what? This is perfectly fine with me. Yeah. Can we go back to gambling instead? What should we do? Forget. What the heck is this? Just stay cool. Let <laughs> me think of something. <gasps> got it. Oh, God. Got it. He's got a plan. Sambo. Oh, we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment oh, no. of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking? Clown? You mean you? It's yeah, nice to talk about yourself would. like that. Still I would. Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sampo is just like, you called me a clown. A, a small tear comes out of his eye as a he thug looks up. Tear. A thug tear. He looks up to the sky and he's just like... <laughs> Foiled again. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. That club sounds like it's bussin' though. I know. Mm. Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now what is going on, Sampo? which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. So far, I've had no fun with you, Sampo. You better make this interesting. <laughs> I don't know about you. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Oh, I, I know I'm speaking for myself in this one. A TV? We're going to watch TV. Hell yeah, buddy, old pal. Afraid you're mistaken, <laughs> Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. It's Five Nights at Freddy's. Of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. I want to go to Punk Lord, man. That sounds lit as fuck. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? That is the dirtiest fucking <laughs> line I have ever heard from Sampo. <laughs> Cannon. Why don't you try it yourself? You must be pretty good at that. Did you enjoy this first hand experience? No, no. First hand experience. <laughs> hand. Get it? How about you take off those gloves and give me a hand job? Oh my god. <laughs> so it's just like, no, please. Oh, Eris, have a very safe trip on the bus. No worries. Yes, have a Thanks great for time. In. Thank you for joining. And I, I'm yeah. glad you could witness the clown rat man. Yeah, I'm very glad you could witness this moment. Of course. <laughs> it truly is a moment. A suggestion. If you aren't up for it, uh, I'll do it myself. Yeah. The two almost synchron... Sync... Syn <laughs> Synchronously! Sync. Sync their gaze towards you, or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them, including the guy with the trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You know, time to make a choice. Do I take a chance to touch this television? See what intriguing events might fall? Touch it, touch, touch it. it, touch it! Touch it! <laughs> take a deep breath, close your eyes, muster great courage, and with a resolve as weighty as three exclamation marks. Breaking the floor. Sipping, sipping some water. You reach out to the suspicious screen before you. Now what? Alright. It's morphin' time. Wait, what? Where are we going? Sampo? What the fuck? Sampo! Why did you turn into this thing? 
Sam what Bell. the fuck are we? I think I've been sucked into the TV. Gosh, you guys are tall. <laughs> Let out a grunt that, that sounds, sounds cool. cool. Just, I like that. <laughs> you make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, Firefly. Firefly. Swag. Why is swag a <laughs> fucking word in this game? Why is it a fucking word Sampo Koski like, uses? <laughs> that is so fetch. So oh my god, he would. Oh, 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 you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. This the song you though. Just touch this TV. Or you can uh, just touch me. I mean the TV, not me. Uh, Maybe me. Let out a grunt that sounds cool again. <laughs> you make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you'd ever change back if you can keep being this cool? Ooh, yeah. Here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. Go in the sewers, pal. That's where I'm from. <laughs> I'm the Rat King. Yes, we will. Good luck. God damn I'll you, I'll appreciate Sam, the good luck from uh, Firefly. What is this fucking game mode? What? We get to play as a cartoon character. He was made smaller by Boss Stone's strange device. Okay. Nexus wolf, said. Like sharp eyes are hidden under Hanu's sunglasses. Okay. I loved when Stelly said it's morphin' time and then morphed all over the place. I love when Freddy Fazbear said it's Fazbear in time and <laughs> Fazbear all over the place. Why is this an image that we can look at, guys? Why is. Damn, look, Sampo's finally tall. Wow, the rat man's tall. God, all right. He looking good, though. Firefly is so cute. She fucking a love cutie. her. All right. Ba -ba -dum -ba. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. What the? Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Uh, I, I will, though. <laughs> what? Oh, I can return to normal form in here? Ow! Boom. Oh, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. I figured it out on my own, bro. So we can morph into this thing? What is happening in this fucking game, guys? Every time I think Star Rail gets wacky, it just keeps getting wackier. Oh, another bird. I can yank that one, too. Oh, we're gonna let out a grunt that sounds cool again. You let out a cool hmph, so cool that the birdie tilts its head at you. Chirp. Hmph. Chirp, chirp, chirp. We just keep grunting. Okay, we saved the, the resilient bird. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Fantastic Frog is built by the origami bird. Hunter can quickly ship between the way. Okay, I don't need to read any. I don't need to read any of this. <coughs> I can figure it out on my own, guys. I'm smart. I think. Sometimes, at least. All right, normal form again. I think if it's around here, I should probably do it. Boom. Oh, treasure. It's just floating in midair, because that's just a, a normal thing that you do, I guess. And they're just, this is part of where the treasure is. Oh my god. This is wild. Like, literally, every single time I think Star Rail can't get wackier than it already does, it gets so much wackier. Like, why is this a thing? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I, I, I shouldn't have morphed. Apparently I still needed to be Hanu. 
Yo, you know what? That kind of does look like one of the old style arcade units that we actually, or like gaming units that we had when we were younger. Right, dude, Nicole, do, do you remember the old SpongeBob like game that we had? Which one? The one where you like use a little like uh, a joystick and you use SpongeBob around. It was like its own console. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, remember? Our friends had it. Yes! That's what that looks like. Sorry, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember what it was actually called, though, but I, I remember it being a... Wait, what the hell? Did I just go in a circle? I think I might have gone in a circle, guys. Oops. Sometimes I'm dumb. I like how I said I was smart, like, ten minutes ago, or, like, ten seconds ago, and I immediately am showing that I am not smart. Or normal. I'm never normal, but then again, you guys don't really <laughs> expect that from me, do you? Right? This is where we started. What the fuck? Where are we going? Oh, wait, what? Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, what? I am so dumb. How did I not see that? How did I just not no, see that? Crap. You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine, I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But. You just wait. I'll be back. Okay. After going all around, you find yourself at the entrance to Boss Stone's maze. All right. I I guess we did it. I I. Oh, can we talk to them? Listen to them. You release a series of cool grunts, so they fail to draw the attention of the twosome from the television to you. Looks like you have to turn back to how you were. Alright, no more cool grunting for us, I suppose. Alright, talk to us. You're back. Are you alright? Uh, it was quite fun. I see. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Look at that! You did great! This is the proverbial moment of freedom! Sampo! earned it. Did we just... Did we find your sex handcuffs? <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, we did. We've got everything we need. We just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Where are you taking us? Where are you fucking taking us? Where are we? I Maybe a little bit. Where are we going? Where the hell are you? Why are we going back to the eyeball? Why? The dreamscape sales store. Dr. Edward and your son. Ah, the trailblazer of the Astral Express. Here we are again. Uh-huh. Looks like you've got two friends with you. Well, there she might. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Sampo, I don't want your drugs! My guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um... What's going on? Yeah, I'm with Firefly. What the hell's going on? This is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Any dreams we want. What's so fun about this? Well... 
Whether a dream bubble is fun or not depends on what kind of dreams you've had. We all had dreams that we wished we could have continued after waking up. Right? Okay. All right. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Uh... Firefly, you're concerning me again. You keep saying strange things. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you'll prepare all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Uh, all right. Wait, no, is this a sex dream? No, no, Sam, I'm not going into your sex dream. Yes, I am. And generate the dream bubble. It's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Okay. Where are we? What? What is happening? Where's this? Why are we in Bellabog? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Why? Where? Why are we here? How'd I end up here? Where is everyone? What? What? What, what should I do now? What? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream. Anything is possible, possible. Oh, no. But, oh, you, you did your own echo? <laughs> to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Huh. Why are we here? I don't like this. It's is creepy. This eerie. Another note? Another one? A note. Become the garbage king, though the trash bags have long been broken. No, that's Sampo. You got it Sampo's wrong. Sampo's advice. Yeah, he's the garbage king. He's already the garbage king. I think I've had this dream before, too. This all feels so, so familiar. Oh, that's the thing about dreams. Anything can feel familiar. Stop mm. nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. What am I going to look out at outside? What am I going to see when I walk outside? Um. What? What the fuck are the- Bellabog music. Why are they so hot? Goddamn. Nicole! Goddamn. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell? What? What is happening? I'm worried too. Oh wow, this is- Throwing me back straight to Bellabog Quest. Why are there trash cans everywhere? What? What? They speak. Why? What? Deal? Are you related to Natasha? What? I think what? it- Oh my god, that's supposed to be Natasha. Why are you speaking Simlish and Animal Crossing? What? It's a mixture of the two. He's our king. The tattle of the garbage king. Kepler's trash cans are humble and Suppressos are violent. Cornerstone of Bellabog, the lid that secures us, the barrel that reinforces us. What is going on? I feel like I'm taking drugs. Yep. Tadalov's eyes have been blinded since the thing from beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze. He stopped listening to our calls, impoverished to be bullied and his loyal servants to be degraded. The humiliation was too much for us, <coughs> but not enough for Sampo, clearly. No. As a result, we can no longer communicate with one another using trash bag. Guys, this is a drug trip, right? Yeah. What is happening, right? Are you saying you want me to rally you together? You're speaking in riddles. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, trash cans and lead the battle <laughs> against the evil king. What? Something like that. 
What the? I haven't agreed to anything. Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Just accept it. Help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. We'll become the new garbage king. What is... I am so confused right now. This is a part... This is not... This is not a troll, guys. This is actually a part of the quest. You've got to be kidding me. Trash can prince? Insert trash? What the hell? Oh my god, it grew arms and legs! Thank you, beautiful what? stranger. What? He's the trash can prince, guys. Bro. We saved him. He wants to he has to offer everything he has, his soul, his body, his life, and the trash bags. <laughs> <laughs> you talk like a knight of beauty. There are many cans who compliment my beauty. What is... The only oh knightly order God. in this kingdom is the gold steals. What the fuck? Oh, he'll unite with us. Earned his confidence, okay. He'll fight for us. Wonderful. Oh, glorious soul. Okay, proof of trust. Who else can I help? Courageous can. Search of our belongings from his <laughs> treasure trove. The resources vital to our livelihoods. <laughs> open sesame! Let me kick the door. I'm sorry, I meant to do open sesame. God damn it. Oh! Turns out it was an automatic sensor door. I just can't sense trash cans. Oh! You, I'm the savior destined to defeat Tatalov. Oh, amazing. You never felt so exhilarating before we raise. Oh, what? I and the other oppressed can, so I'll stand by your side. Wow. They they really went for the trash, man. I am so confused right now. I I'm I what is A dispute awaits your fair judgment, okay? <laughs> Legendary golden trash, a symbol of power and status. Only the most qualified trash can may lay claim to it. Okay, they all feel that the trash can that lays claim to the golden shit, okay? What is going on, Nicole? Uh, chat agrees that this segment is making everybody feel like we're super high. Yeah. I'm just, I feel like I'm just clicking through because there's nothing important here. Yeah, no. I'm, I, what is my, okay, split gold and trash evenly. Yeah. We did it. All right. I'm not even going to wait around. We're just going to click through. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. All right, Shatana. Yep. All right. You wish a success, you say? All right. Tatalov. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic scene. I is it tragic? <laughs> I mean, seems that way. They say the king would wait for me here. What is going on, y'all? Have I been set up? Oh, cutscene! What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Sampo, what? What are the you fuck? doing, you bitch? What just happened? What kind of drugs? So many. All of the What drugs. are you... What?! <laughs> what? 
What the fuck is? What? What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> yeah. Thank Fire you. Fireflies done. I'm done. What was that? Why was that a part of the actual quest? Uh, that had nothing to do with anything. I have so many questions. A bummer. I was really a bummer. Friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. <laughs> I'd easily finish him off with one punch. The garbage king, you're the real garbage king. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was what? looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Sampo. What truth are you talking about? What truth? Is this some weird dream trying to hint at some hidden meaning? Yeah. No, more like reveal. Explain you yourself, bitch. Truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? I don't know, Sampo, I've never been in it. A bunch of scheming people. None of them hmm. want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. Interesting. You're not at home anymore, kid. You wandered into the depths of the unknown. Huh. <laughs> That's what I said, no man's land. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're not straight, Sampa. You, you aren't either. Bamboozled. A glowing light? Let me stop getting enticed by that glowing light. What in the dream world are you talking about? A glowing light. What are you up to exactly? <laughs> yeah. As always, pal, if you still don't get it, just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? What? She seems to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works all she's got is street smarts who exactly is she you don't find her the least bit suspicious well huh. i'm just i'm worried about her you better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions don't let her off scot free <laughs> don't say my name see you around, <laughs> pal don't let me down i will what did sampo is firefly hiding something is she I mean, it seems like she doesn't want us to know about something small. From her. She shouldn't be too far off. What is going on? Whoa, nice. Firefly? What's up, girly? What? What's wrong? The girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. Firefly. You don't have to apologize. I don't find you suspicious. Yeah. Thank you. There are things I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. Oh. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. <laughs> Every day is a new beginning <coughs> for you guys. Oh, Firefly. I really love that kind of life. It's not as great as you think. You can board the Astral Express, too. Aww. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Oh, sure, I believe you. Thanks. I, I trust her. I do too. I just would like to know what's going on. Oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to find my second wind. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little sick, EP. I know. I'm, I'm trying to hold no, back I'm my sickies. Is Something crying for help over there? Again? What? Another Why? bird? Please talk! Help! Help me! What? Please what? Dying. Please what? What do you mean what? someone's dying? Uh, what kind of thing are you? 
Okay, Mickey Mouse, what is going on? What is happening? Why what? is the animation different? This is so trippy. That's so fucking weird. I can see a clock with limbs. I think I'm seeing things. Uh, no, the uh, clock with yeah. limbs. Can she yeah, not? Alice? No. Wait, Misha's dying? What's going what? on? What are you talking about? I haven't introduced myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird. Origami Bird. Hamster ball night. We saw Origami Bird. What? What? Clocky, are you a cartoon character? Uh, Clocky? T do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Yes, I. So I'm not hallucinating, right? You can't. You see him? Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. What is going on? I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child, like this kid here, clad in gray. What? He, what? I, he said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. No, don't repeat that to Firefly. Well, only children can. We, we're what? not a children. What? What do you? Uh, what? What is going what on? What do I repeat? I have no idea. Ah, uh, that one. Just how so? <laughs> Tick tock, my great friend. Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. What? I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He's begging for my help. He says someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this um clocky that only you can see? Firefly, listen. Is, anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Oh. Hurry up and follow me, great friend. What? Is that our Misha? Yeah, Is the bellboy. Anyway, better check out what's going on. But I'm worried about Firefly. I am too, but I'm worried about Misha. What is going on? Uh. What? Akron? Misha and Akron? What? What is what going now? on? Please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Gangster what? boss? <laughs> what? <sighs> How did it come to this? Do they see Akron? Is that is that Akron? How come be, they're all people I know? What do you mean? Does she not see Akron? See? I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. What Tick -tock, is going on? I'm begging you, my great friend. Begging you. Please help Misha. Okay, we'll kill the gangsters. Don't worry. Please fill me in on what's going on first. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm. I'm really curious too. Tick tock. Tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Stone? Wait, what? Boss Stone. Dreamville. He's stuck in a cartoon. It's the fucking game that we played with Sampo earlier with the with Hanu. What is going on? You're trapped in a cartoon, man. We are in the mindscape! We're in the mindscape! I'm Floppy Feet's bad thoughts! <laughs> We're no longer a family! A family, huh? Family? I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, what? everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. 
After all, you're the special one who can see me. They really told the voice actor, uh, just Mickey Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> just Mickey Mouse. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. What is clockwork? Uh, why don't you do it yourself? I can't pull it off on my own because they can't see me. So please, close your eyes. Oh, okay. Now, our minds have merged into one. What? Why? So uh, he's like, I feel something, all right. On that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. What? I... That you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. Why? Guardians of Dreamville, after all, What? What does that even mean, bro? I am so scared. What does that Welcome mean? Welcome to the dreamscape where everyone is high. We probably sound so insane to Firefly, dude. Yeah. What is going on? Mind your own business, lass. No. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. You're talking to the galactic baseballer, bro. Here uh, comes the clockwork. Here come the use clockwork in this person's emotional state. What the? What? Make your confirmation here. What the? We can make people's emotions different? Start tuning, because it's the harmony. What the hell? That is so weird. <laughs> what? Guys, I don't like that. I am so I scared. I don't like that. But how did he end up like this? Because I saw Dial and got it moving. Here comes the clockwork. It's just that seeing that gleeful smile on his face. Whoa, he's just as scary as he was before. You're telling me, bitch. Everyone, please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Guys, is... I don't like that they can manipulate people's emotions like that. I really don't like that. Come on now. Line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. I'm sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. What? Light they really dreams. Uh, they uh, thank you. Uh, you may rise. <laughs> You're our most distinguished guest. This is creepy. Well, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Uh, I appreciate the gesture, but can we have some privacy, please? What is going on, guys? What is happening? Again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about her before. Wait, he can see Clocky? Why? Oh, it's her. Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Yeah. You're telling me. They didn't thank me. It's the least I can do. I'm, I'm surprised too. About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. Oh. Mm. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. <laughs> anyway, I owe you another one. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay, Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just feeling sick. I'm sorry. Is this lady your friend, too? Well, we've only met each other once before. Twice. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. The beautiful lady? You Aww, are beautiful. You are beautiful. Way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> uh. about that, too. What happened back there exactly? Clocky taught me some clockwork talk therapy. I used that on him. 
It's only natural for people to get intimidated by my baseball bat. Uh, clock, you taught me some clockwork. I mean, Should that's a normal be answer. Should we just be normal or baseball? Uh, it's up to you, man. I will be normal this time. Clocky. Clocky. Yes, that cartoon character. What if only residents of Penacone can see him? Maybe. But then why can we? Oh no, but the mafia can. A cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. <laughs> he really exists. That can explain a lot of things. Such as? Huh. Yeah. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. Oh, she can't it's see him. It's a shame him. that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. This Probably is weird. Probably ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. The memo keeper. Who is she? That's so that's Black gotta be. Swan, Black Swan keeps records of everything that happens in the dreams. Shortly after we parted, Wade oh, right. wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <gasps> Hot. It was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. Well, now wow. I'm gonna ship it. Well, now I mean, I thought people were already. Now I'm about gonna this, aggressively like, ship it. God damn! So that's what she said in the beginning when she said she found someone to dance when Sparkle was talking to her. Okay, wait, why though? What? I ask her for her name. I only oh. know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. How romantic! Garden of Recollection. <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Wait, really? Exactly. Really? They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream and I shall not interrupt your date. Your date! Oh No, we're not on a date. We're, we're not? not? <laughs> so it's like, we're not? She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. Misha's like, have fun on your date. He's like, yeah. These are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. On the clock. Please go. DJ, blow my speakers up. <laughs> by some invisible friend again. Yeah, I want to go. Wait, what the? What? You gotta use clockwork, change different emotions. That's so creepy. Oh, is that Nexa? Is that what you were talking about? You? They said, I admit, I made this guy cry and it was so funny. Oh my God, I made him laugh. Oh my god, what did he yeah, cry about? Yeah, this doesn't feel right. It feels evil and weird. Yeah, it does! That's so fucking unsettling. Alright, so now we gotta go to the secret spot with Firefly. Sorry. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first. And I'll be right behind you. The secret stronghold is a cafe. A cafe. Here. Here we are. This is the place. This place looks mighty fine. Is this your secret stronghold? No, uh, it isn't. This is. What a beautiful manhole cover! <laughs> is this your secret stronghold? Yes. Oh my god. It's right inside. Oh my goodness. Inside, what does that mean? This is embarrassing. People are watching us. It oh no. Matter. Anything can happen in a dream. And there are lots of people falling from the sky every day. The pedestrians aren't going to be faced by anything. True, they did see me crash like a meteor. First, so you'll have to 
stay close to me. Oh, okay. Huh? <gasps> Sparkle! Oh my god! Oh! Let me ask you something. Are you breaking the fourth wall and talking to us? Oh my god, she's Just so cute. Following girls around like a lost puppy, your way of getting their attention? Oh, I love her. What? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. I already love her. 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 Oh, not you again! Forty-five minutes. Ah! Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? You said it, babe. Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Oh. Are you from Sigonia? So Sigonia is another planet. Yeah, I guess so. But damn, their eyes are rare. Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. Honey, Avgen. He sure is a honey. Be as pretty as yours. Your eyes are pretty. No, problem with my <laughs> no her eyes are so pretty. I, 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 I like her. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators. That's racist. Sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. Damn. What the heck? What is going on? You belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. Whoa. There's one right over there. Off you go. Oh, shit. Damn. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Vibe? <laughs> is frivolous, vague, oh, my God. Flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the- <sighs> She's Oh my like, god, I love him. What the fuck? Also, everybody's been waiting for the scene, apparently. Oh! We are fools. I thought we she was gonna say slut. <laughs> we aren't interested in playing the friend game the lap dogs of the IPC. Damn. Really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics. Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. Huh. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound what? very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Sunday? How chicken wing boy? It, little peacock. Oh my god! Yourself naked. <gasps> what? To him on your knees and promise that the IPC would never harm Penacon. This quest is wild. Adventuring's like, how would you know? This quest is wild with its dialogue. What the hell? Is that the line, guys? Is that the line y'all were talking about? Oh my god. What is this quest? <laughs> I am losing my mind. Holy shit. Oh. How do they know each other? Treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, or know of chips. each other. In any gamble, Potato, to be exact. <laughs> I'll eat it. Are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. Friends from the Garden of Recollection, did you talk to Black Swan? The line. Wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. So that was the line. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Smarter. Damn. Listen. Little peacock, <laughs> you've been invited by the tavern before too. The oh. tavern? Want the masked fools to get on board? You need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Uh huh. Yeah, the eon. Uh huh. For elation. Okay. And the tavern is, I guess, where the masked fools are. I, if I understand correctly. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone. Why don't you find a rock to be friends with? Damn! Mr. Rock won't be able to refute your arguments. God damn! I love her! So She's what? so cool. No, Sparkle, come, back. come back! Oh, god damn her legs. I'm, I'm sorry, keep what? Your advice in mind. <sighs> Go. Get. Oh. Stalking women. He's like, I am not interested in girls. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Again? Size starts taking clothes off. <laughs> My god damn it, not again. What the hell? Sparkle's a very quick witted character so far. I really like her. 
Okay, that was wild. My favorite scene. One thing I noticed about Aventurine is that he and Ratio have very similar eyes. Maybe they're from the same planet. I don't know if it's been mentioned before where Ratio is from. Oh, oh it, it hasn't actually. That's a very good thing to speculate on. Where are we oh, going? Okay, where are we? Oh, Firefly? Double back. Oh. Look! This place is breathtaking, isn't it? It's really pretty. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Guests aren't allowed here? Don't worry. This place Where are we? Dangerous. Just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. Oh. The secret stronghold is in this area. Oh. Let's sneak inside. Okay. I'm just curious to see, like, how much of the quest do we How are we doing? Left? Yeah. Because I don't think we've reached, like, all of the end of the quest, have we? Probably not. Guess I doubt it. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Trat, we're caught right away. Could you last through just this time? <laughs> please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. We know Gallagher. Who? Eh, never heard. Oh. Of I wouldn't let you in even if the dream master <laughs> were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Mm, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy. Oh. This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? We're gonna manipulate his emotions. All right. All right, fine. None of your tricks are going to work. All right. Uh, We've provoke done him. like thirty-five to forty percent of it so far. Okay, got oh, you. Okay. Thank you, Satan. Wow. I'm actually impressed that we've even gotten that far. Honestly, yeah. All right. Should we make him happy, angry, calm, or sad? Calm, maybe. I mean, he's pretty calm we right can now. Can negotiate though. with him. Maybe make him a little sad. No, we can't negotiate with him. He. We have to change if his he's emotion. He's calm. I mean, he's pretty calm right now, though. His current emotion is calm. Oh. Let's make him sad. I yeah. I want to make him sad. Why? I don't know. Fine. Do what you need to do. Let's see. It makes me sad. Oh, honored guests. Welcome to Pinnacone. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. And my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. This is Maybe we should have made him. Uh, we should have made him happy. Don't call, don't say yourself short. But trash cans are important. I like them. <laughs> In that case, I'd recommend that you see Doctor <laughs> Edward for a psychotherapy session. Jesus. Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of. Talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. I did not mean to do this, guys. Can you let us through? We'll stop blocking. Please stop blocking our way. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry for blocking. <laughs> wow, oh, I hate this. I don't like this, guys. I made a mistake. Please be nice and don't trample on it. I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all. I have nothing left to lose. Oh, this is horrible. Die trying. It might be worth giving what he wanted. Reading his inner thoughts again. I'm not going to hurt him. Oh my God, what? No, I'm going to make him happy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, buddy. What's going on into you? I feel like <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. Drugs. Can you 
feel it. It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocalypse Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Oh, this is so creepy. If we were here, we would sing a song together. Who's Mia? What? Excuse me? How I feel. Is it Who's... your dead wife? I swear to God. Contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me. Uh, right here, uh, right now. no thanks. Uh, will you let us in after I dance with you? Oh, no way. Rules are rules. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. What? This crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I, I wish, I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. <laughs> this is so creepy. Perhaps need to provoke him a bit. Reading his inner thoughts again. Angry? I guess we have to keep. No, oh we got. Yeah, God. we got to do angry now. Really? How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Ugh. Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're gonna regret it. Come on, let's fight! Oh, you're asking for it. Oh, I'd be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic and cool. Wow. Every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You could do uh, nothing to society. Damn. I help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, what? sweet dreams troop. Teach them a lesson. Oh. Well. I guess that's what we were meant to do. Doggies. Look at the doggies. Good times. Time to And now they're going to explode. Damn. This is really creepy, guys. I don't like the emotional manipulation. That's really fucking creepy. Oh, darn it. I can't believe I've lost. Is this, is this the power of youth? Zoomers! If I oh had no! Power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Mia? What? Who is Mia? All right, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never yeah. imagine that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. It's really not. It really, really isn't. I really don't like it. It's really creepy. I also feel like it's dangerous to be here. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dreamer's tools. What? What happens next is going to blow your mind. Activate, Activate dreamer's, dreamer's eye. eye. Whoa. What? Dreams Eye allows you to switch to Dreamers View. Disconnected paths are those with height discrepancies will be connected in an incredible way. Observer mode, movement, action mode. Character movement is limited with the screen boundaries. I see. In my left left corner, top or tap. Space <laughs> anchor. Plague said, I'd say uh, we've done a bit less than half. So Jack goes, I blame Scotty. What, why are you blaming me? Blame me. It was because I was ogling adventuring too much. Yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? I literally did not waste any time this entire time, guys. <laughs> How are you blaming me for not getting further in the quest? I don't want to hear <laughs> your guys' musky mouths <laughs> bullshitting me like this. We can Must use the building materials that are floating around in the air. Boom. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. Not feeling good. I'm sorry, homie. That's okay. Rotate and move the module. Move. Boom. All right. Crossing. Musky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, musky. What Scotty, are you gonna do about it? 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Nicole, don't, don't, don't protect them. They know what they are. Scotty, I see you. <laughs> Bitch! Like you. So are you. Gay for gone you. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like stepping on planks, floating on water. Oh no, don't, don't fight me. Don't fight me. We can get to the rooftop of the opposite building from here. But it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here. Dream Jigsaw. Okay, puzzle gentlemen, Dream Jigsaw. All right. Place them, click. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, there we go. And it comes out just like that. No matter how many times I've seen it, it still looks magical. Let's go. Rotate. Oh, thank you so much, Neon. They they just joined us. It's good to see you. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Really thank appreciate you. We'll be okay. Yeah, we'll we'll be fine. We uh, we just caught a nasty bug for somehow, some reason over the weekend. Yeah, unfortunately, it happens. They really do be like that. We always manage to get sick at the beginning of the year somehow. Boom, and then this one, rotate, and then boom, and then activate, and there we go. Firefly, girly pop, I don't know if we should be doing any of this. I mean, we're doing it, I guess. Look, that's the Pentacone Grand Theater over there. Oh. Huh. Huh. This one is a little bit complicated. Hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. Thinking cap. Oh. The perspective changes are really cool. They are. We running <laughs> around, boys. We do be zooming. Oh, it's not that complicated. Take a break and admire the Pentacone. That was optional? Oh, I didn't know. Oh. That's uh, okay. We'll just continue on. from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Pentacone. Wow. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. It's it is very, it's very, very calming. Peaceful. It's really pretty. This is a really incredible update, guys. Like I, I, love I was just this. telling Scotty when we took a quick break earlier. Like we went from like not to say the Sienjo story wasn't amazing. It was a great, great section of the game for sure. But to go from that to this is wild. <laughs> it's like, honestly it's only pretty getting amazing. better. The only way is up. Oh, we have to find the jigsaw pieces. Dreamweaver! Oh, Dreamweaver! Dream Is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or what? Because I've been working overtime for two months. Why don't I have any inspiration today? 
Why would you need to drink Soul Glide uh, for that? Can I have the puzzle piece? There? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you snuck in. Just leave me alone. If you prevent me from finishing my work on time, I'm going to make you pay for it. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to uplift the Dreamweaver. Let's make him a happy guy. This person's <laughs> emo gear is missing, TikTok. Oh, shit. I don't like this. We can obtain it. I feel like maybe gear is close by. What the fuck? Now what do we need to do? His emo gear? Like emotional oh, gear, boy. but it's emo Wait, now. Puzzle piece? Taken away by it? All right, I'll fight it. What in the world? There's more to life. Eternal. You don't look so good. Stand still. Destiny. Ill tidings manifest. If everyone here is asleep in the hotel, how many people are in the hotel? Oh, God. Jesus. The human body is beautiful <laughs> in its fragility. Oh. Don't worry, Kafka. I'll be really fragile for you. I, I, please be rough. Please. <laughs> uh. Great spot for a date. Absorb emotions. That would be a great spot for a date. Oh, they, they came here too. They. God damn. They also they had the right idea. I mean, Firefly brought us here for a date, <laughs> and uh, they had a good idea too. Exactly. How are we going to leave? We're not climbing the ventilation ducts again, are we? Uh, there's got to be a way. Don't think about that stuff. Okay, we obtained Jeez. the happy gear. Cool. We got the happy thoughts, guys. We got the positivity. Apparently. All right, Dreamweaver. Boom. Time to be happy again. <laughs> I got it. What a brilliant idea it is. I must write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. All right, not bad. Emo dials missing specific gear. The dreamscape cannot be tuned. Okay, that might just be other quests I can do later on. Weird. All right. Puzzle piece and puzzle piece. Boom. The power of wisdom and memory. Okay. I I don't okay. Zoom. Go down to this one and then we move some shit around. Oh, yes. Was you gonna say your thinking cap again? I, 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 I didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> you, Firefly. I'm sorry. Wait, what the fuck? Why does it? It's starting to make me feel like we're in the back rooms. It, it, it do be given that vibe. Right. Oh, wait. Do we do it? Did I do good? Did I done do it? <coughs> I, I may have done but it. Did I, did I done do it? I think I might have done did it. No, I definitely did not done do it. That, is, that doesn't seem correct. Am well, I supposed to do something else? I'm supposed to be going up. Why am I not going up? This? Maybe we turn the module a different way. The music's really good here. And then we move the module back. And then we go to this one. I'm just trying to I'm trying to figure it out, guys. Give me give me a second. Alright. Oh, yeah, that was what it was. Okay, perfect. Figured it out. I got it, guys. See, I, I, I promised you I'm smart. Boom. See? I'm smart, guys. I'm a smart person. I know how to do things. <laughs> oh, hey. New shoes. 
This moment has finally come. The oh, finally. There won't be too many hindrances after this. Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Why? Half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. Why are Dinosaur they Jurassic they Park? Have, they have chef's hats. Why is Jurassic Park here? Knocking them out is the only way to go. I'm at long last. This baseball bat of mine has found its purpose. Let's get rid of them. Firefly needs to be playable. I'm just going to say this right now. Yes, she does. I would pull for her in an absolute heartbeat. She's so adorable. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. An endless why did abyss, that? Huh? Why did it only do 200 damage? That was stupid. Bro, I'm very firmly beginning to believe in the Hoyoverse multiverse. Uh, same. Black Swan is tipping me over the edge. I mean, she can tip me over the edge anytime she <laughs> wants to. <laughs> Oh, it's a microwave. I'm like, I heard Focus. freak the shit out of me. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry, in the middle of a singing. Oh, Someone's singing. where is the sound coming from? Where is it, Robin? I wonder. Oh, I hear it. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Oh, my God, the sunrise. Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking. Oh, it's Robin's song. Oh. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. Oh. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. Oh. Far away oh. from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people, and the dreams, without being disturbed by anyone. We gotta cover the song. Oh yeah, no, we absolutely do. That's, if there are lyrics, we have to cover it. That is so pretty. Okay. How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless, and me. Oh, this is such a sweet moment. Firefly. Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas what's what's going on soul? what's hurting you what's wrong i'm sorry i really am still away it's okay i figured i know i knew i couldn't hide it from you My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. Oh. Just like many of the Penacone locals. Oh. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penacone, but... Some have dreams... That are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I 
have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. That shot was beautiful, by the way. That was such a... With, uh, with Firefly against the backdrop with the... The song. The song and the uh, meteors or shooting stars, whatever is in the sky. <laughs> absolute chills. I know the feel. What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means what? they slowly fade away. And the process is barely noticeable to others. What? You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower. She has a progressive disease? Why well, was not expecting that? And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. So she wants to escape that fate. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. Bro, I'm about to cry. So how could I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. That's so upsetting. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen, and see, and touch, and think, and understand whatever I want with my body. Bro. So although this world isn't real, <laughs> this experience... Bro! <laughs> I don't like this! <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! No, that's so upsetting! That's so sad! That's so upsetting! What the hell? Just like this moment. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am. In fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. I hope so too. I can't make any promises. I can't put my trust in someone who hides things. I hope so too. Thanks. She's so pretty. I fucking started crying, bitch. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. Firefly. God damn it, guys. Ugh. I have showed up at the wrong time, Archiver said. I cried like a bitch. Uh, yeah? Yeah, we're both crying right now. Sad backstory moment.
That was not okay, guys. This is the halfway point, too, they said. This is the halfway point, okay. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Pom Pom would cool us down with water from a spray can. <laughs> Don Hung would tell us a dry would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. <laughs> make coffee. Him would oh. make coffee. Mr. Yang would change the subject. Marge would force us to take a selfie with her. Pick your favorite. Oh, that's <clears throat> oh, this maybe the selfie. That's kind of cute though. But what, what do you say, Nicole? I I love all of them. I'll do Marge. Selfie. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. Oh, good choice. Taking a photo. I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. Oh. Don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. <laughs> Bro. The girl hands you the phone to you, her eyes fill with expectation. You take the phone, launch the camera up, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Extending your arm, you hold the phone in the distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, get ready. <laughs> I'm good. Let's do this. One, two, say cheese. Oh. Peace in it out. <laughs> Damn. God damn it. Are we all having fun? No! <laughs> sure! It's lots of fun. Something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. We're in a dream after all. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. I no. agree with March. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at the auction. Oh, God. Oh. Not. It's ratio. Pretty boy. <laughs> I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. Best we meet up face to face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is already. Let's meet up in my room. You oh, got okay. it, Himiko. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I oh. feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on, let's say goodbye, at Golden Hour. Oh my God, guys. Oh. Uh. Uh. I. What the fuck? Well, that was heavier than I was expecting to deal with right now. Yeah. Yeah, it it really, really was. The pretty music, too. There was a chicken in the grass. Did it ruin our <laughs> moment? <laughs> Did it ruin the moment? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Depression is fun! Yeah! Yay! That's what that is. I think. Oh well, that sucked. That was not fun, guys. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> I really, really did not like that at all. <laughs> you okay, Nicole? Yeah. <laughs> that just fucked me up on an emotional level. Yeah. This place holds Come to think of it. I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Oh. Oh shit, did we not read that? Where's everyone gone? Wait, what? Did we come back with Firefly? I, I, um, guys, where are the people? Where are the people? What the fuck is going No one's on? here. I'm not just imagining that, right? No one's no, here. No, Stella just... Sampo, what are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? Sampo? We meet again, my dear. What do you want? Oh, we're, we're, yeah, we're with Firefly. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Yes. I am. You're just so blind. Sampo, what is your deal? Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Are you gonna start showing your true colors now, Sampo? Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? Sampo! Oh, oh shit. Oh, I love you.
love your attitude, my dear. <laughs> I have to admit, you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Hey! And so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? Oh, I'm sure it's Babs. It info. is for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world. I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. Who? I'm really, really disappointed in you. Who'd you trust? Also, why did the clock only strike four? Wait, what? What is going on right now? What is happening? Um, what? Me. Sampo? What are you doing? You Slut. What? Who are you? You're not Sampo. Was that what? Sparkle? Sparkle, what? She just knocked us out. Oh, I like that image of her, but... Oh, yes, oh, step on me. Oh, uh, oh my God, hello. Uh, but, oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, touch me. Wait, no, but, 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 what are you doing? You're evil. But, but what? Uh, my emotions. What? Uh, oh, my God, what just happened? Was Sampo ever here? This... What is this place? I'm back at the hotel? No, this feeling... The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. The music is not harmonizing. Listen, oh, that's... it's all the off notes, just oh, like that, the message that Himiko was talking about. Who Can we text Himiko? Looks like a trip to back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. I've run into, into a little trouble. trouble. Mom, help, please. Oh, pick me up. I'm really scared. Failed to send. No. Uh Oh, Oh no. No Wi-Fi. What the fuck is the Wi-Fi password? Oh no. Somebody's yelling for Mikhail again. What does that even mean? Who is Mikhail? What the f This is too weird. What the hell? Dial the counter is stirred into life with needles that just been quickly as it is about to take you to a distant moment in the past. Why has it come to this? Come down, it's just me now. I have to complete the instructions he left behind. I have to do it. How can I possibly complete it? Is there anyone who can help me? What? Grandpa's work. What? Sad gear. What the fuck? Guys, what the hell is going on? Where are we? Firefly? Firefly? What are you doing here, girly? So you're really here too? What happened? Don't tell me we're dead. I don't know. What? In any case, we must still be in a dream. Yeah. We can't be anywhere else, much less reality. That's what Sparkle I'm said. Go to the real dream. The memoria that's in the air. What but the hell does that mean? Very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's... Suffocating, silent, uneasy, and these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Pentaconi under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Or something hidden beneath the sweet dream? No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said... The real dreamscape. This is the real dreamscape. This is the family's secret. He's not my friend. I should have been wary of him sooner. Sorry. Regardless, the family must be hiding something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. What if Sampa wasn't even here? I was, yeah, I've been thinking Oh my that. God, you guys. I've played through the whole quest already, so I do have to warn you what's about to come will be heavy. Oh no. Oh no. You're kidding, dude. Oh no, I'm so scared. There is no sadness in Pentagoni. There is no sadness in Pentagoni. There is no more in Bossing Say. Out of curiosity, is this the heavy part? When does it get really heavy? Because What's started... the Wi-Fi password, Nightmare Bonnie? <laughs> yeah, because like I literally started crying with fi for Firefly, but like, when does it get? Is this when it gets heavy? 
That's I'm worried. What, that's what Nex is warning us about. Oh, God. I slept a bit and came back with a pretty girl on screen. Oh, Ethereal, you're just in time. Yeah, <laughs> you're just in time. For pretty girls and apparently unimaginable pain. Yeah. Okay. Catherine is here. What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Oh, no. Honkai Impact Third Moments. Oh no. oh no. If it points us towards Don't say that. Legacy, Don't say that. We'll be connected. After a boss. Does it happen that fast? Let's Do we go. keep we have Do to we move. keep going? Do we have to keep oh, no. or the truth? Do we keep going, guys? I mean we can't really We're leave. committed now. Where are we? A child's dream? Why is this something in the What the fuck? Why is it called a, a child's dream? Well, Clocky said something. Oh, are the whales back? <coughs> Wait, Bud of Aether? Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, we already we always have those. Oh, we do? I That's do not, not new, sorry. don't worry. I was just like, whoa! Yeah, Bud of Aether. We can't get through here. Let's take the way around from the side. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Why is the oh, floor that's moving? an enemy? I didn't know that was an enemy. Grace and elegance. Yeah. I didn't know that was an enemy, guys. I'm sorry. There's no music. Oh, there no, is. there is. Stand still. Destiny. Ill manifest. <sighs> Oof, music's creepy. Another precious memory to hold on to. Oh, this is creepy. What the Dead fuck? end here too. Given the layout of the room, are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? I I guess. Bubble charge. I see. So we use those to. I see. All right. Bubble converge. Oh, I have to make them. Oh, I, I get it. Can I obtain more? Wait, no, that's retrieve. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No, I get it. I get how it works. <laughs> oh, I love pretty girls in unimaginable pain. Oh, oh, so glad, buddy. Don't we all? Tampering with the dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. What the fuck? Careful. There are some strange things on the wall. And they don't oh. look like they're from the Dream Jolt troop. It actually makes sense why Sampo, quote unquote, called Firefly March. Sparkle just took a guess that the girl was March. Oh. So it was her all along. It was never her. Mikhail? Wait, why Why did Firefly say that? Plague said nope later on. Wait, why does Firefly know that name? Wait, what's later on? The The real pain. The real pain is later? Is this the goddamn back rooms? Yeah, it is. What is going on, y'all? This is too <coughs> overwhelming. The exit is on the other side. How are we going to cross over? Oh god, ignore those, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them, and maybe they won't notice me. Sorry guys, I'm mesmerized right now. I'm just, I, I don't even know what to think yet. that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? It's kind of scary. There's sadness. Where have I heard this name? We keep hearing it. It's like I can feel emotions contained within them. Confusion. Fear. 
madness a and others so faint I can barely feel them. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. What? Oh God. Does that mean? going on why is this why is this hidden beneath the fake sweet dream also who is sparkle and why did she need to pretend to be sampo how the fuck does she even know who sampo is she's a masked fool oh sorry i'm an idiot oh i, I thought you knew this i did not Oh my god, Nicole. Seriously? Yes. What am I gonna do with you? Go, Bitch. What? Mikhail left? Take me with you at least. Please. I beg you. And that sounds what? like Misha's voice. I know. I I could be Oh, I nice smell like I might take that. Uh uh I I I don't get it. That was a close one. There is no Warren Bossing say. There's nothing but a jigsaw puzzle here. Hmm. More red doors. Huh. More strange hallways. Jigsaw puzzle. The pieces look like they flew to both sides of the room. Oh god damn it. This is an party. Huh. Piano. Child of this house received excellent music education. What the huh. fuck are we looking at here? Is that supposed to be clocky? Repair it. Rare guess, when did you get in here? The weather's good today and the sun's purple. You wanna try some salt and pepper clocky? No thanks. I'll just repair you instead. What? The fuck am I looking at? Uh. <laughs> All right. I guess we're playing a little game, guys. I yeah. What the fuck do I do here? Oh, I have to move. Oh, I see. I get what it wants me to do. I really should have. The module is stuck. Wait, how? How? Oh, it's a mirror, it looks like, I think. <clears throat> yeah. But what do I do about that? What the fuck? What kind of game mode is this? Oh. Oh, that's what it wants me to do. I think. Wait. Then that looks kind of correct. Am I dumb? Am I, am I? I must be dumb, right, guys? No. Rules. Let me check the rules one more time. Some building blocks are inter, inter, interactable. Click or rotate. Complete the path. Collect gears. Movable dream mirror re <coughs> replicates existing paths. Okay. No, the music is so creepy. It is. Oh yeah. By the way, ending of this quest doesn't resolve or answer anything. Oh, love that. Oh, wonderful. I'm getting Incredible. actual goosebumps from the music alone. Same. Uh, Catherine said, "Try moving the mirror." Yeah, I wasn't aware I could move the mirror. Now I got that part at least. Is Mikhail a child? I'm lost. We don't know. They could be. It sounds like maybe a pair of siblings because they were playing hide and seek. And then Mikhail was leaving. 
Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Unless I'm supposed to somehow... But no, but then that doesn't work. What? Guys, I must be stupid, because these are the only things I can interact with. Those are the only things I can interact with. You need to move the mirror only a little so the two pathways connect. Ow! God damn it, really? <laughs> Scotty getting big skill issue moment right now. Oh! CC Lotus, welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Awaken. Okay. That didn't have anything to do with the pu- the, Oh my god, that didn't have anything to do with the puzzle piece. Investigate. Where's the- Where? Oh wait, maybe the origami bird. Chirp chirp. Let's see. I have no idea if that was what it was supposed to be. Okay, there we go. Are me, are me Kyle and Misha siblings, friends, maybe. Maybe siblings? <clears throat> Alright. I really thought that it was supposed to be something I had to do. But apparently it was not. The wall has vanished. Feels like we're reaching the end, right? Maybe. Oh no. It's a long corridor. Just like when we were with Acheron. Oh, what? Just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. Huh. <laughs> Should we open it? The fuck am I looking at? <clears throat> Someone's treasure? Whoa. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. So creepy. But since there are so many. The detuned ragtime oh. piano. One of them. I hate it. I hate it. Oh boy. Are they just gonna be never ending doors? The exact same room? Oh TVs? No. What the fuck is happening? What? Guys, I don't like it! Well, I don't like we're it! in the back rooms now, boys. It's happening again! Oh, they said get ready for the creepy part. Buckle up, boys. It's gonna get intense. We have nowhere to go. <laughs> Do not said, open the Mikhail, box. Don't open the box. We did. We opened the box. Well, you know, man, that could oh. come a little sooner. Why does that sound? The ring. That bell sounds like um. Ratios no, bell. No, Scotty. Shh. For two seconds, please. What? I'm, Let, I'm, I'm helping you. No, not helping. Let me just think of what I'm trying to say. It sounds like, you know, um, when you're at a screening of like a TV show. Yeah. And it's break time and they like the yeah. the scene is done and it's like the, you oh, know. Okay, gotcha. That th that's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I'm really tired and I didn't want the thought to escape. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. I was just trying to help you, man. That. It's yeah. like scene is over or something. Oh, shit. I don't want Please to die. Me, I want to die. Clocky I said me. Misha was going to die, remember? Something's up. What? Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah, see? TV, oh, I told shit. you. Oh, what the hell? We kept seeing those symbols. Oh, oh. she said get behind me. Whoa, what is this? What Whoa, the what is hell that? is that thing? What the fuck are you? What is that? Whoa, that image of Firefly and Stelly. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't really prepared for this right now. Shit. What the fuck am I dealing with here? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Alright, I guess I gotta fight now. The box, FNAF 4. Say bye to a box? 
Yeah, Catherine, definitely share your theory about the trailblazer. Oh, my theory is Trailblazer is a reincarnation. I don't know who, maybe Genshin Traveler, uh, Mecha Valley, I don't know, just some- yeah, I agree. They definitely are. I really hope you have a DOT team playing I do. So. I do. <laughs> Say hello to this boss. Aetherial AO! Um! Gotten 4K! Why is it kinda hot? Guys, why is Bailu dead? Oh. What the hell was that? Perfect timing for Archiver to be like, Nicole, Scotty, meet death. I don't think I should have brought Black Swan into this, and I hate to say that. What is the family hiding? I don't understand. What the fuck is this boss? Okay, Bailu's alive again. <laughs> I don't know how Bailu's alive again, but she's alive. We'll go with it. I really thought my my Black Swan was better built than this, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Dude, she's brand new, don't feel bad. I was playing her in pure fiction, so like, why am I doing so little with her now? I don't think the buffs in that game mode are that strong. <laughs> okay. It's got focus, man. Okay, no, what are you doing? Not again. Uh oh. Am I supposed to lose this battle? <gasps> Firefly! No! 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 Leave her alone! Leave her alone! No, please! Leave her alone! Leave her alone. Firefly. Whoa. Oh shit. What just happened? Oh, it's Black Swan! Oh shit! That's her shit! She just reached up from the abyss. The right oh, please do that to me. From the shadow of death. Emerging without a scratch. Oh. Oh, hello, mommy. Oh, she is stunning. What the fuck? Again? Whoa. Why again? Easy, baby. I'm on your side. You can call me the memo keeper. Black Swan. Oh, shit. Yeah, Black Swan is definitely multiverse proof. She's gotta be. She has to be. Oh boy. Time to say bye. I agree. Love that this game's not scared to get dark and psychological. I love that. It's My so good. My favorite kind of game, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. It hits really goddamn hard. Welcome to second phase. You're too good to me. It hits really fucking hard. I'm not joking, by the way. This is this game's version of death. At least in Pentacone. Oh god. Oh lordy. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Wait, so is the monster literally like an allegory for death? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Okay, good. Done. We're fine, guys. Oh. What? Whoa. Hurry. Oh shit. Whoa! Oh, she got her hand! But 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 Black Swan, Black Swan, she come saved back. us. Whoa. What the What's going fuck on? just happened? You're awake, oh. lazy boy. Oh. oh. Looks like you had a nice dream. It wasn't. Oh, I mean, it really wasn't. Now it is. I mean, did you dream of me? I did. <laughs> I did, and uh, what I'm happy to say is that you're reality. Want to continue it? Hey, <laughs> are we in heaven? Same thing Same as before. Same thing. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie, the safest and most familiar place you can be. In reality or in another dream? 
and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. Primal dreamscape. You're the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. What is Firefly, the primal? did she make it out? Oh, what is the oh. primal? I'll ask about Firefly. I mean, I'm sure she- Garden of Recollections memo no, keeper. No, no, what is the dreams primal dreamscape? What we were in, I think. So please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Oh God. So we're out. We're out, out, right? Yeah. No more dream? No, this is our room. Okay. I think it's- I want to go to mom's room. room. I'm scared. I want oh. Himiko. What the fuck did we just deal with? <coughs> Trauma. That was awful. Here we go. Well, Mom, I need you to hold me. Oh. Could it really just be a coincidence? Oh. Go to them, please. My family! And save her, too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. What are you talking about? That memo keeper obviously came here with an agenda. Oh. oh. We should remain vigilant. Well. She's well, right. He, she's kind of like right, right here. But I mean, God, okay. I love her. Look, she's so pretty. Miko, I brought the kid back as promised. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we got yeeted. See you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. I just want to fall into their arms now. I'm happy to see my family. You know each other, so you're Himiko's friend. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. Oh. Oh. Not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Come uh, on, Himiko, say fuck. Yeah, just, just say it. What We're the elaborating. fuck happened? Who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. She wasn't Sampo, or Sampo wasn't there at all. Her name is Sparkle, a masked Fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. I'm sure she is. You know why? Her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony itself? Is it you from the days when it was a prison? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the mm. memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Yeah. Clocks fish the deep sea. Yeah. Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. Yeah. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. Huh. Right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What does that what mean? Could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation. Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Penacone's dream is sinking right now. Oh. Back to its original form. 
and falling into the deep sea. What? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? What the fuck? It's the sinking. The dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme. A meme? Excuse me? It's meme. a it's a God damn, girl, don't look at me like that. You're gonna make me fall in love with you, and I I, I know I, I love too many women, and you'll be one of them. How could a that Harold's death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe. Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm, let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. Oh. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. What do you want? Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? God, what? she's stunning. Oh no, she's absolutely stunning. But what do you want? As for you all, me, I'll give myself to you. Fine. Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze. I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I can have your babies. I mean, what? <laughs> I, 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 I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally, mm. take your time. Family meeting. Uh, family meeting. Family dinner table. You, you just, you, you are, you, oh wait, no, we are her, never mind. I was gonna say she's gonna hang around, but we are her. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. Mm. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Then it likely oh, has- Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I, I, she was just saying behind the scenes. Huh, how'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family which narrows it down to two possibilities. Mm. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. Hmm. I see. From, I, mm. from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. I see, so someone's trying to fuck with things. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Huh. So, if I understand correctly, I got a little distracted and I just want to make sure I got this, like... Oh wait, I can go back and read it. What am I thinking? There's a feature where I can do that. Someone's drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Penacone. Who would be doing that? Huh. But Welt said the former is more likely. Yeah, that is the former. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what I read. 
Not the other one. Oh, the family okay. is forced to seek out outside help or outside aid. I said the former one, yeah. March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. Uh-oh. What what Daddy Welt discover? According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Penacone. Oh. I reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claimed to have seen this invader. Oh, oh. And this is what I received. What? I'll send it to you. Open it and take a look. I, oh my God. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God, Silver Wolf is FaceTiming us. Oh my God, oh my God. I love her. What the hell? What is happening right now? What the fuck? They know. Yeah, no, we right. got that. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh! Oh. We just got rizzed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful timing. That was so beautiful. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see it on the playback because I can't see it on my screen. But uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, whoever our most recent subscriber was. I wish I could give you a proper shout I, out. I think it's... Is it... Wait, I think no, it's No, no, no. It just says latest subscriber. It's but updating. It's updating. No, it's not updating. Because it disappeared at first. It said J something. Oh, wait. Go back. It said J and then it disappeared. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to check it back again, but thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so really much appreciate for subscribing. It. We really appreciate. Okay, although it unfortunately means your idyllic break and paradise is near its end. Oh. Oh, it was Ally. Oh, sick. Hell yeah. Ally Gamer Girl. Hello. Welcome to chat and thank you for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Really we, appreciate We made it to the Pentagoni. We, we did. did. We really did. And my God, it's already been quite an experience, if I must say so. Slay, thank you so much for the new sub. Woo -woo. Thank you so much. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam. Yes. Oh, my God. Is he going to shoot us in the head? Is that what that means? I already know he's going to be here. It's not a spoiler because they literally said in the special program that Sam is coming around. I don't know about y'all, but I like the tiny version of Silver Wolf kind of just floating around in the She's background. got a gun too! Yeah, I know. She's got a gun! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is it? The curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached? Uh-oh. The various factions have started to move. Oh, you had me relay a message to you? Oh, shit. Those Stellaron hunters. They uh. even factored Penacone into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. March, I think they're the least of our problems right now. The situation is clear. In fact, they're helping us. Yeah. ...isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, <coughs> and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. Yeah. And tonight, Sam is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. Oh. He uses superhuman perception and acts... What? He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. 
<laughs> so it's just like that's hot. That's really hot, though. That Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. Oh boy. Should we inform the family? What if we, it could be a Silent Hunter's try? No, we inform the family! On amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Let's act first and talk later. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. Mm. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Okay. All right. Family meeting adjourned. I guess so. She's at the bar. She's getting a drink. She's getting her drink on, guys. Miss Black Swan, <laughs> the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. Oh, I want to be at your service, doubt it. though. Me too. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. Okay. Oh god, okay. I don't want to go back in there, Himiko! If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. <laughs> it's no problem, of course. Other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. I can help you feel better if you need to. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be oh boy. busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly's returned to reality yet. Oh, oh, we're really worried about her. I don't have her contact info. Oh. I'll ask Black Swan. We need to get her number. We didn't get her number. Not to mention about the Firefly moment with the main character. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, that was such a good moment. It was so lovely. You okay, let's anxious. ask. Worried about that girl? Yes. You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. Oh. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Thank you, Black Swan. Can you confirm Firefly is safe? I'll ask that first. Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. I don't know about that. I'm she worried. is stubborn. Thank you for I saving me. I did what I had to do. You are special, after all. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. That's not unsettling at all. To be honest, I don't really trust memo keepers. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the Express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Penacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. Hmm. And the garden must record this historic moment. So you can try working together with others as well. As long as you can see them. <laughs> interesting. Uh, her laugh is As long as you feel can things. see them, huh? Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? You're not returning to your room? No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Thank you, Black Swan. The keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Oh, shit. All right. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Can you cuddle us to sleep, please? Instead, I want to drift off in your arms. Honored guest. We're gonna input Silverwolf's code. Lie down in the dream pool. Oh shit! Okay. Okay. We're going in. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Oh, oh she no! She called us darling. Don't use my favorite pet name. What's wrong. Are you not feeling well? I feel... I don't feel so good. I know you're more sensitive to memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I mm. shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. 
They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. Okay. All right. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. March, where you at? Your memories tell you this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March, are you there? There's no response. Are you in there? We're about to set off. No res March, it's me, Scutley. I know March? what I'm thinking, but alas. That girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. The what? The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. Oh. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Okay. That should be perfectly fine, I think. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be so uh, someone else's her. presence. How is this possible? Her? Acheron! Again? Oh, it's Acheron! No staff members here at all? What in the world? What are you doing here? You lost your we you know each other? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. The one that I danced with! Short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Do we get to try Akron? Tell me yes. Shit! Ooh. I would have loved that. That would have been so cool. Every petal like, I know she's not out yet, but like... God, you guys are cool. making me nervous. Everybody's passing popcorn and tissues. The part is coming up soon? We need the tissues as well. Oh my god, guys. Uh-oh, I'm worried now. Do you, Ally, do you have Firefly as your icon? Yo! Slay! That's so pretty. Oh, sorry guys, I'm fighting to stay awake. I mean, it sounds like we're cutting to the part, aren't we? What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Panacone's rife with- Oh, the it's red. red. About the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. That's true. How about in front of me? That's not what I meant. It's just <laughs> a figure of speech. Oh my gosh. Arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Mm. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can sure. protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it. Wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Yes. Never hurts to have more people. We can trust Akron. Yeah, I feel like we can trust yeah. her. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. <laughs> I ship them. Honestly, Knowing they dance together. I ship it. Honestly, same. Okay. Just getting all this shit, I guess. Um, we're going up, I guess. Realistically, how close are we to the scene, guys? Realistically, how far along are we? Why is it upside down? The memory oh. zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. <laughs> Saccharon's words <laughs> speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. <laughs> and we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. We, we know what to do. We've done this before. How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around you? Yeah. Next, find a suitable spot 
and try walking up the wall. We did. And there we go. It worked. You really can walk up walls. Akron walked up walls when we first met her. Child's play oh, memory. yeah, she did. Come on, let's head out through the front door. I love Black Swan, you guys. She is so fucking attractive, man. Like, Archiver said we're close. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna trust you guys. Plague said we're around 75% in. Okay. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us and telling us how close we are. How you doing, Nicole? Uh, I'm, you know. For those of you who are new here, we're both sick. So that's why we both kind of sound a little dead. Yeah, unfortunately. There's oh. an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination. Theory videos about Pentaconi alone are going to be batshit crazy, dude. Seriously. It used to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Take the elevator to. Uh, <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, your profile is Bronya. I'm sorry, I couldn't see. Where is this? <coughs> so pretty. Best girl, Bronya. <coughs> Are you good? Perfect example of us being sick. Yep. <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memo keep a close eyes. Sylvan, hello! He said, hi guys, I'm not even looking at the stream, lol. Oh I God. still haven't played through the Trailblaze mission. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't, don't. Don't spoil it for yourself, man. Just wanted to drop a hello. Hey, buddy, we're we're happy to see you. Happy Hope you are doing ya. good. You see the memo keep her close her eyes. She's searching the room in an almost telepathic way, even every <laughs> nook and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family, and some figures trying to find their way forward. <laughs> it appears that your friends aren't faring too well. What? What? One, two, three. Wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Is that Firefly? It's the girl who was with you. Firefly? What's she doing? What's she doing here? She said she already returned to reality. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? Firefly, what are you doing? Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. Oh shit. Oh, good. Everyone, we must hurry. Oh no. Oh god damn it. Okay. Now what? Oh boy. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, we have to go after Firefly. What does that say? Zone. These will help you I won't give up. Of her. What did the other one say? No, you must I have this right, don't with I? all your might and shape them in your mind. I got some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene when you ran into danger. Who? That memory zone meme. It is here as well. Oh, oh God, not enemies. the memes. Okay, I know they're called memes, I I suppose. Oh no, everybody's hey, saying we're gonna cry. Oh no, I'm worried, guys. I'm also really cold. Can I get a sweater? Yes. Okay, okay, just, just watch oh my, my shit, God. man. Just watch my shit. Oh no, I'm so scared. Okay, I have a tissue with me. Memories seem to be different again. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. 
<sighs> I don't want to cry. All right, all right. Sweater acquired. Sweater acquired. I'm no longer cold. Discard all right. Worthless destiny. Okay, okay. Please, after what will happen, don't move hastily. Just stay there at the moment. Okay. Okay. I'm worried about what that means. Oh, thank you, Catherine. It's a, the Watchkeeper le legacy. I won't give up. I have this right, don't I? Okay, got it. Okay, let's go, let's go. <coughs> okay. Okay. The gate shuts, your thoughts stirred by the swirling current and pulled along. Descend into a deep abyss, sinking. When the hatch opens again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. Oh, God. An indescribable fluid, darkness flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation engulfs you from within, then a voice emerges. In my dream, I saw scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. Right. Oh. It bloomed against the morning sun and whispered to me, Why do people choose to sleep? I think. The final sigh escapes its origin unknown. It's Watch out! A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone oh, shit. be on your guard. Oh boy, where are we? Firefly, where are you? Oh, she's right there. <coughs> oh, cutscene. Cutscene. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no, no, not again. Back. Shit. What the fuck? <gasps> no, no, no. No, 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 no. No! 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 No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding me, no! You... You alright? No! <laughs> what just happened? Is this a dream? Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. Alright? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. No, I won't be fine! Did she... No. No, please tell me no. Please tell me no. There is no way. There is no fucking happened. way that she's... No, 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 no. That was too sudden. Ugh. <sighs> I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th safety, and warn them. I... What? I'll leave her to you, Miss Acheron. I... I... What? I- I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. I- <sighs> I'm really upset. What the fuck? I am really upset. What the fuck, guys? It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. She cannot be dead! You didn't even draw your blade, why? <sighs> oh, we're lashing out. Sorry, I... I had no choice. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. She didn't even have a, she didn't have a choice either. Oh. I understand your anger, 
And I will accept it. But this isn't the time. We should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding, and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, no compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. I'm back. What the fuck? Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. The memo will keep our hands over memory bubble signal signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as instructed, and a bone chilling coldness pierces your body, which then consolidates into a clear image. You see Himiko and March 7 together, obstructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside them, unnoticed by the family. That's the family? I understand the situation now. Please take her and retreat to a safe location. You're okay, Nicole? No. Allows, you can investigate Firefly's I'm sorry. First. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Which is why I must <coughs> undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let I'm not fine. Place I'm not okay. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? <sighs> mm, I don't. I can't take that. the copium, guys. I can't. Unstable, <laughs> so we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. <sighs> also, while we're departing. We can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. What? Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. Oh my no. god! No. What? Get the way. That'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. Oh. I... You watch as Akron turns away, you remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see her pause, lips pursed, eyes downcast. After a moment, she hunches down as if gathering something with her hands and rises again. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. <sighs> Let's go. This way. Follow me. Oh, not the song. Guys, I'm really upset. I'm really not upset. Okay. Not okay, guys. I'm really upset. This game is stupid. It happened so fast, I don't know what to do with myself. This game is stupid and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this game. On? Why is it? Getting hot in the memoria. It's getting hot in here, <laughs> so take off all your clothes. These are all charred remains. They're still floating. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. <sighs> oh my god, guys. I'm I'm I just it. I'm devastated. I the remains of this creature bears narrow and deep incisions with evident traces of charred in charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flicker within, resembling shattered stars departing towards IX, Eon of Nihility. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic. Pick up the photo. Oh, wait, where was the photo at, guys? Where is that? Where is that? I just realized I, I didn't even realize there was a photo, to be honest with you. <gasps> the photo that we took? No. Tell with Firefly, there. where? A pick up the photo. Archiver saying. I'm sorry. I'm mobile sorry. Mobile gaming going is back. saying. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. I'm going back. We're going. Oh, you're kidding. 
I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, everybody, ally is saying, pick up the photo. They're actual liars. <gasps> no! A half-faded cell phone lies on the floor, capturing an unsent message with a snapshot of two people wearing smiles. Cell phone has completely dissipated into a dream bubble. I... Guys, this game is dumb. Why were her last words to say sorry? That was so much we didn't Why? know about her. We didn't barely get to know her. She we actually... had like a beautiful night together and then like... <sighs> is she actually gone? Bro. Guys, she can't be gone. Not that fast! Stop! Firefly must have dropped it! Oh, no! Remember when they said this was going to be a wholesome and heartfelt story? Why'd they lie to us like that? Bro, they literally did that shit on purpose to hurt us. I firmly believe that. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Okay. This is why we needed the tissues. I was already crying earlier Lifespan when... of a firefly. I was already crying when Firefly told us about everything that she's gone through already, and this is just not helping. <laughs> but these hips don't lie. That's right, Ethereal. Off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that the remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. It must be Sam. This is not the most shocking scene. Oh no. What? Oh case, please. You should have seen everything that happened here. Oh my, well, what we're committed now. About? We have to get to the end. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left. Who? Sam! Sam! Visit. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Stage one, Daniel. I, I am currently in Daniel. I would much rather- Be careful. Do not alert the meme. Don't alert the meme, guys. I'm trying, man. Oh my this god. This is truly a magnificent sight. It's this room, then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. What are we looking for? Right below? It doesn't look like there's a way down. You're going to teach me how to face through walls now? You two may not be able to face through physical structures like memo keepers. But I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it. I'm so sorry. I'm quiet, guys. I'm I'm just beside myself. That was so fast. That uh, I I I don't even know what to say. Like they couldn't have taken like they couldn't have given us at least a few extra moments with her. And she was in pain. She cried. After everything that she'd been through. So fucking She literally stupid. cried before she died. This what is some supposed, bullshit. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, guys. Oh. Ugh. Oh my god. Hello to Sonic, so welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. We saw the scene. 
The ending really shocked you. Oh my god, dude. And then you realize everyone is being sus personally. I don't trust them, even Ekron. I mean, everybody feels like they have their own personal agenda right now, right? Yeah. You do, Catherine? You think Firefly will be okay? I don't know, man. I would like to believe that. Look, a solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Hello. Hi. <coughs> oh, down it goes. Oh. oh, shit. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, where the okay. fuck are we now? Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Okay, here we go. Boing. We landed safely. This is amazing. See, it looks like a TV control room. Don't it does. Don't take the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? All right. Hey, we gotta fight these dudes. Oh, eternal. Welcome to depression. I mean, the most normal stream ever. Yep. Normal stuff, guys. A charred, burning, barren wasteland with a single healthy sapling rebirth. Yeah, Catherine. I mean. That does sound like reincarnation and Firefly alluding to her illness. It does. <coughs> Good times. Time to say bye. <coughs> it's crazy how attached I become to her. It's so heartbreaking. That was so upsetting. You would not believe your eyes. It's a million fireflies. disturb us now. Here. How about I show you a little magic trick? Is the magic trick you showing us your boobies? You I'd ready? like that. I'd like that. Don't be too surprised. Okay. <laughs> what? Firefly. What? Whoa. Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. Oh, it's like fragmentum. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of Memoria. Her imprint. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. Yeah. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Oh. I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the watchmaker. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She we were seems getting to be close. sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Akron Ugh, why? If I could try again. She stares at the screens. Is she looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? The room full of TVs. My theory is Firefly is doing this all over again. Is there huh. someone else? What do you mean, is there someone else? Who Water was she with? Holes, memories, yeah. Who was she with? This isn't what we agreed on. <gasps> who sent her here? Who talked? Who, who was who with her? Who was she talking to? Who was with her? Mecca? Somebody put her up to being the here. Open. The Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. Who? Why? Who? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker. 
And that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Yeah. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Uh oh. Unless there's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Oh, yeah, Based no, on same these thing. fragmented pieces of information, she mentioned oh, yeah, they might thing. have had. Do you mean there's same something thing, same else? Thing. There's actually a path here. Okay. <sighs> Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Oh, wait. Exit. Following this path should lead me out of this place. No, but it's a dead end? Or Unfortunately, no. this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Oh. There's no, there's no other way I can go. It's just that way. Oh, boy. Okay. After that, it's the end. Everyone, over there. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Who? Oh Ready boy. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Who? It's him. Hunter. Sam. <laughs> it's Sam. Oh my God! What the fuck? Careful. Is he the one? Holy shit. Jealousy Ranger. And a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. What the fuck? Else, all of you will die here. Oh you shit. You can't kill me. Kafka created me. Oh my. What? The game is over. You shouldn't be here. Bitch. Oh my god, he has no weakness. Is he the reason that Firefly is dead? Uh, is it your fault? You done do it? We're about to go bat shit. <laughs> you better not have fucking done do it. Why is my Mecca sounds very close to Mikhail? It does! Yeah, it does, you're right. And the voices before sounded very similar to Firefly. The voice is talking to Mikhail. Firefly equals Sam, or at least she's related. Oh, how do you mean? In the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter, who was behind your ultimate departure. What the fuck? What the hell? The battle is better with it being slowed down, at least for Sam's attacks, Nexo said. Okay, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Say bye to breathing. Good times. Time to say bye. We're taking continuous damage, I just realized. Oh my god, his theme is so good! Do you hear the music? It's, it's so awesome. good. Some value, I suppose. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. May as well kill them all. Ooh, his theme is so good. Oh shit, oh his- oh my god! Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, I almost died! That was very scary, guys! Oh 
Remember, Celeron hunters are like our allies. They wouldn't hurt the main character. Yeah, exactly. Sam is only threatening Akron and Black Swan. Right. Not us. Not us, though. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. That's actually, that's something. Oh shit, yes. Okay, guys, we're doing good. We're doing good, we're doing good. Oh, we're so close. Memories up beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Some value I can <coughs> Okay, I think we got it. I think we did it. Oh. What? What now? Oh? Oh. Oh! Cutscene! Oh my god, that's so oh, epic! Leave the dance stage to them, my dear. What? What? Now what? Where are we? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not you! Oh hey! Hey, babe! You fucking... What well, do you want? Thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. What? When I what? first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart oh. skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. What? As promised, I've delivered oh. the child to you. What? The transaction is complete. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Black Swan! <laughs> what is... You two are in this together. Black Swan, you... Oh my god. <laughs> she didn't say well, shit. Our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. Listen, bitch, we're crying over somebody who died, okay? Fuck you! <laughs> In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From? From that galaxy ranger what what, what do you mean why what's akron's deal right <laughs> i do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours my friend <laughs> let's be honest that woman named akron isn't as simple as you thought did she say she's a galaxy ranger she's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. What? what? Akron has her peculiarities, but an emanator. Why should I believe you? Akron is right there at the scene. It couldn't have been her. She was there? Wait, what? <laughs> You're kidding. He didn't know? Oh he didn't my. know. This just got even more interesting. What? Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Yeah. Fatora's Ifrit? Yeah. Yes. I fought him before. Yeah, we did, technically. <coughs> Nicely done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase, then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion, and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. What? What I'm is not going sure on? What the family was thinking, or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? 
They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. Mm. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. What? 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 What do you mean? What, what happened? happened? As I expected. Wait, no, what happened? They were eliminated on their way. The assailant Whoa. demonstrating remarkable expertise ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Wait, what? Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panicone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. Oh. Oh. Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? Oh, it's Acheron. It had to have been Acheron in that case. The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panicone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? I mean, you gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. I don't think he has any reason to lie to us about that. My my, you look like a small injured animal. Thanks. Are you still I appreciate it. To talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. You betrayed me. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman <coughs> to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express Trailblazer. <coughs> and as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you, <coughs> provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Can I trust adventuring? My take on this might surprise <coughs> you. In my view, mm. he's a trustworthy individual. Yeah. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this mm -hmm. vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But always be on guard. Particularly <coughs> for making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. What do you think, or who do you think the mastermind is the mastermind? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, right. just as we speculated. But as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. 
No. She is, but... In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why... Ifrit is during dead? During golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles and water. Disappearing in an instant. No matter what, <sighs> I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions for the truth and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. How would I know you're not trying to frame me? Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the Memo Keepers. I've warned him about that. I don't think he wants I'll to hurt I'll stay by us. your side as a memetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Oh boy, okay. I, my thoughts are chaotic. The Go thoughts are thinking. Adventuring. Or I could still choose not to help. So question, who is the baddie? That's the thing, who's the mastermind here? Excellent. <laughs> I knew you would come. I love uh, Oh. oh. <laughs> keeper. Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. <laughs> I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. <laughs> it's this way, if you will. All right, adventuring, let's go. Walk faster. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember mentioning something about that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? The last time we met was right here. Yeah. We can is open it. the door. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Into the oh, room. I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? Huh. I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. Now what? The game has already begun. Okay. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. Same thing. <gasps> what? What? Wait, Robin! Wait, what? what? Reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. What? 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 No. No, what the fuck? Why was Robin dead in the... Whoa. Sunday? I... Sunday? What the? What? No, there's no way. I'm back. Uh, uh, huh? Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? No! No! Wait a minute! What? Wait a minute! Keep it what? going! Fine? <laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. 
What? I... no. What? Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Did we meet Perhaps the real Robin? This is... Is this Sparkle? No. Is she... I'm sorry. No. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called Death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally in the utopian what? dreamscape envisioned by the family. <sighs> Such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. There is no war in Bossing Say. What the fuck is going on? Was someone killed again? 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 Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other. The other? Was you. Oh shit. That's enough, fool. It's Sparkle. The deeds have saddened me. He knows. Oh my. Chicken winged boy. The odes of harmony talks about honesty. He knows his sister is dead. Fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I is mean, she dead? Her darling sister's already a goner, right? What the fuck? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. Already a goner? Does that mean there might be a chance? When the fated day arrives, that they're not dead. Out justice with unyielding righteousness. Because the way that's worded sounds yeah, like yeah, and they only they died might, in the dreams, but like well, what if and they still, dissipated. What if they're what if they're just trapped in memory bubbles or something like that? I'm on copium yeah, right now, copium for I real. Am, I am too. You can't murder two pretty girls up in the same quest. Well, okay. What are you doing, game? You can't murder two characters in a pretty firefly. I would understand. Because we got to know her enough but Robin? to kill her. We didn't do shit with Robin. What the hell? Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, <coughs> maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Oh. Surely oh my god. The here the Charmony Festival's been called off. Wow. At the very Jesus start family. Sunday knew all As along that Robin's already dead? I thought Do so. Not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. Oh my god. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, Causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. Who? And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they're but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I. I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Funeral. Watchmaker. What? Oh my god, guys. Yeah, Interlude. it was five hours. No, it was six hours. You did not just give us a fucking light gun with Firefly on it.
I... I don't know what to say! <clears throat> um... What the fuck? Bro. So Robin was dead from the start? We never got to meet her. Oh yeah, it was so wholesome and happy, haha. -ha. Wholesome Loved and happy. Loved it so much. Haha, <laughs> guys. There was definitely no death. Not, so happy. Not even a little bit sad. Um, what the fuck, guys? Scotty, help. I can't speak. I don't even know what to say. I'm so fucking devastated. This... I think this is the darkest that Star Rail has gotten. It, it definitely is. Um, absolutely first, phenomenal. Oh my god. The cutscenes, the writing, the characters. The area, the landscape. The voice acting. Oh my god. This entire area is incredible. Yeah, this... The, I mean, we went from like... Going 40 with the Sianjo and the Lafu to like 110 with Ugh. this quest. I yeah, even absolutely know. fucking I incredible. I can't even process everything that oh we saw. Oh my god, guys. Like, I'm just Hey, so good weird. news. Hamiko didn't die. She better not fucking die, bro. Listen, bro. they I better not kill her off again. I am not going to stand for that shit. They better not, man. Because Sample's I... voice was always uh, was also <coughs> off. That's the clue. It was. You're right. He sounded different. This place holds such fond memories. I knew Robin was sus. Bitch, you killed his sister. No, 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 no. She was hitting on him, and she... he's just like, "Hey, you know what?" And he's like, "You're a bitch." <coughs> Why would she kill her? Why? Why would she kill her at all? Sparkle is Joker coded. Agreed. I, I'm so devastated. I don't even know what to say. This was a this fantastic just makes me quest. Feel something is going on with the Trailblazer. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh Should yeah. Should I send the intros for the Pentaconi video on Discord? Oh hell yeah, Archiver, let's go. Hell yeah. So now we have to make sure we listen really carefully. Uh, KT Ben, welcome to chat. Welcome, At least welcome. there is the companion quest. Oh yeah. Oh oh shit. Oh yeah, for uh, um 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 Black Swan. Right on, right on. We're definitely gonna be uh, popping off for the night in a few minutes. Yeah, guys, we need we need a a we much need a needed break. We need to process. That was a lot. That was quite a lot. Oh my god, this quest broke me. Memories seem to be different again. Y'all, I just... I... What is going on? I don't want Firefly to be gone. I don't want Firefly to be gone! Why? Why? I just, I don't get it! I don't understand. Now what? I don't know. Well, we don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. Ha 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 ha. All right. Be different again. We're both exhausted. Yeah. We're both tired. And sick. And sick. We got to go rest some more, guys. You know what? <coughs> Let me recap. Th yeah, yeah, thank you so much for that, Katie, Ben. They said, yeah, take your time. Really yeah. appreciate that. This was about six hours, so yeah. That was nearly six hours. Just the background the theme is just death. chills. Yeah, seriously. Ugh. I finished the quest at around 2 a.m. and couldn't sleep the rest of that. Yeah. Aventurine somehow knew we had a Stellaron. I know. All right. My favorite part is the multiple door scene and that death monster appearing. Dude. Oh my the god. The cutscenes in this quest were incredible. I swear, Star Rail just keeps surprising and they just keep on delivering, man. Like, there they were, just, they keep killing it with these quests. There were death flags everywhere. Yeah. Two streams in a day. Yeah, we did it, man. We did we it. We did the music stream. We did Pentaconi. Holy shit. We did a stream last night and now we're going to take a break.
Hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Next. I really hope we do, and thank you. Oh my god, we had so many views on this video. <whistles> Jesus Christ. Let's go, guys. All right. Time to recap. Yep. Discard your words. So, Black Swan. Oh man, I don't even know where to begin. Where do I even start? So, Acheron killed Ifrit, took their invitation, and decided to come to Penacone, I guess. Yeah. Which made everyone suspicious of her. <coughs> we also have Bla uh, uh, not Blade, sorry, Sam, the Stellaron Hunter, here for some purpose. We're investigating a bunch of shit. The dreamscape is clearly not what it intends to be. It's as scary. well as it's terrifying. I mean, this you can, is horrifying. You can alter someone's emotions. What the fuck is that? Clocky is a thing. Burn it with fire. Burn Clocky. Hate Clocky. Don't stand Clocky. I I will never stand Clocky. I don't think. I love it because there's mu so much cra theory crafting material. Yeah, same, dude. Oh, it's fantastic. There's a lot to work with here. It's fantastic. You know what's funny is that HSR posted the monster on their social platforms. I got angry reacts. The monster that killed Firefly. Oh, no way. People uh, knew. They knew. God damn it. Uh, Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Monster design is peak. I agree. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I think the worst part of this entire thing was just seeing Firefly die. Like, I think that was the most upsetting thing in the entire quest because like we've seen character death in this game before uh Kakolia and Ting Yun so it's not a shock it was but though it just happened so fast <coughs> and it felt so like personal at that point to make us fall in love with her character and fall in love with her and then just kill her off I understand it's part of the quest I understand but it's fine I'll, I'll complain about that later Aventurine, I am sus of him. Oh my god, I love Aventurine. He's my new favorite fucking I character. I am I was sus not, of him. I was not kidding when I said I will not be able to shut up about him. I am now obsessed. I am sus of him. But Same. I do not think but, that he is a danger, strangely enough. And I know that sounds contradictory, but it's, it's I'm just, I'm just working yeah, off the top of my head. I, I want to know what's up with Misha, too. Because he was yelling out Mikhail's name. Why was and Misha... And see Clocky. Why was Misha so important in this entire thing? And we barely even got to see him. Misha and Mikhail, those are both uh, Russian names. Uh, so yeah. they could be brothers. They could be. Decca is very final close. boss design, I know. I'll explain more of the Trailblazer reaction theory. Because uh, some stuff has changed on Discord. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh my god. When you realize Sam is the only one you can trust, at least aside of all of them, yeah. Listen, I still love Sparkle. I'm just questioning her motives, okay? Oh my god. <coughs> there was so much mystery surrounding Mikhail. Yeah. Well, here's the thing I'm not questioning her motives. I just kind of want to know what they are. I'm just saying. I will still be pulling for her because, yeah. But she's evil. So it was actually reaching to, to us, us not, not attacking. attacking us. Yeah. yeah. Also, the intros are on the Discord. Yay! I needed Firefly we'll be to be playable. Dude, we'll be listening. I needed Firefly to be playable. I needed Robin to be playable. They better still be playable. <coughs> Everybody is sus and Pentacony, dude. They are. Wait, I'm just trying to think. Do we think Firefly could be me, Kyle? There's a Firefly is obviously a code name. <laughs> Could be. Very high chance. I know, Sparkle is irres is, is, is oh I thought you said irresistible. I was gonna say yeah, but insensitive. insensitive. I mean that too. I she's so hot, but <laughs> look, if you guys could say Adventuring is still hot after all that, I could say Sparkle is. is still hot. Honkai Impact Thirds writer wrote for Pentacony and you can 100% tell. Yeah. Yeah, I can fucking tell. Jesus. At least Himiko is okay, guys. 
Oh, yeah, I knew. I, yeah, the wholesome thing was absolutely them trolling us. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I think it's time for us to go to bed. Yeah, I gotta go to bed, guys. I'm, I'm like, completely beat right now. Me too. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for pulling an all-nighter. I mean, hell, we, we got it done, y'all. We didn't even know we were gonna be doing an all-nighter. We, we were like, oh, maybe two hours. We didn't need to worry about spoilers anymore, so that's yeah. good. Um... There was yeah. a lot of sadness and heartbreak. Oh, I know. I trust that. Yeah, I trust the Celeron Hunters way more than anyone else. I agree. You trust Sampo? You. Sampo. I mean, you do you, baby boo. You do you. It is veg time. <laughs> Please, yeah. God, do not let anything bad happen in the next patch. Oh, I already know some bad shit's going to happen. Oh, my God. They killed please. us. You can't kill two pretty girls off in the same patch. That's not okay. But either way, we're going to go to bed, guys. It's Love time. you guys so much. Thank you for pulling an all-nighter with us. This was yeah. really fun, despite the pain. <laughs> it was. It's always a good time to get back into these big quests. And Star Rail has really knocked it out of the park with this one. They this really a fantastic have. quest. Um, if you guys... Uh, for everybody who is new here, thank you so much for our new subscribers and new chatters. If you guys want to join our Discord server to theorycraft and share memes it's uh in the description yeah um otherwise we normally stream every wednesday night yeah and we'll yeah. be doing one more stream on friday i believe right for lantern right for, yes. yeah we're gonna yeah i lantern right days two and three i know there's gonna be four days but we'll see what we can get done we'll see you guys because depending on if we can recover soon enough Right. We might be going on another songwriters retreat this weekend. Yeah, and if uh, not, we will let you guys know. If not, we'll stream the rest of Lantern Right. If so, we'll do it when we get back. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to go take care of yourselves today, guys. Do something nice for yourself because that was really traumatic and very upsetting to have two characters die in the same quest. We are gonna tuck ourselves nice and tight. Uh, I'm gonna. Dream of Black Swan. I'm gonna dream that I am tucked in betwixt her bosoms. Yeah. And she can cradle me to sleep while singing me a nice, soothing lullaby. Yeah. That's I like nice. that. That's I like that for us. Yeah, I like that for okay. us besties. <laughs> yeah. All right, love you guys. And thank you all. To, thank you to the new viewers as well. We're you guys really happy. Rob, thank you for being here. Stuck with us for so long, and we hope that you'll be joining us for future streams as well. We have a great yeah, time yeah. on the Nicole and Scotty gameplay. But yeah, love you guys. The tip of the day is um, don't go into the dreamscape. It's not worth it. It's a trap. It's always a trap. But yeah, we love you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Good night. Everybody get some rest.